Bum, bum, bum. Good evening, party people of the world. My name is Cameron. Oh, do I have to introduce myself? Only Hi. if you'd like to. I'm Anna. Okay. I'm on break, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you're stuck with me. I'm joined this evening by my beautiful fiance and guest star, the Disney Queen, the the Big Queen, the, the Queen of Queen, Queen, Queen. Shall we bow down? No. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. Today we are celebrating a wonderful thing called Purple Day. Anna, would you mind crouching for just a hot second so we can see the beautiful, Goodbye, beautiful title on the screen? Now, where's the Midori? That is the that is the only time we will see Anna this entire evening. I just, I just, I'm just kidding. So today, tonight, whoa! Tonight's theme is purple drinks. For a while, I've had some ideas about how to do literally an entire stream based off of a single color of the rainbow, or perhaps multiple colors of the rainbow. Anna just picked up the Midori. No, that's my Midori. Don't move it. It's green. Just doesn't fit the theme. This fits the yeah, and it I have fit the blue theme. and red. Your it point doesn't. is no, but like, but like, blue and red make purple. And then you add alcohol. That's how this works, right? But I have purple alcohol. I don't remember if I like that one. Wait one second. Let me smell. That it. one's black raspberry. It's on board. It's on board. I don't remember if I like. I that. have to learn how to guest host from Anna tonight. Oh, that's a horrible decision. It's a steep learning curve. I can't curve. open it. No worries. I am an esteemed, super talented mixologist who knows exactly. Are how you things sure that are thing's going. even open? Yes, it's open. I just. I don't think that one's open. Stuck. We're I'm not using this. But what if I wanted to? We're not ready yet. Oh my god, let me just like bring this I up. actually don't know where my grippy thing is. My grippy Cameron, thing is. it's not open! No, yes it is. Yes it is. No, it's yes, not. It. Look at that. Anna. That is not a broken tag. Because it doesn't open from there. Where does it open from? It opens from the bottom. Lies. I don't believe you. Observe. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and give that a whiff. Oh, that smells like um... So purple day was a day that happened on Sunday, March 26th. As of this recording, it is now March 29th, a few days after Purple Day. Purple Day is a wonderful thing. As I've learned, Purple Day is a day that was started by the Epilepsy Awareness Foundations across the world. In particular, I believe it's just called the Ep Epilepsy Foundation, EP, EP for short. Epilepsy is a neurological disorder that causes sometimes random or sometimes patternistic bursts of electricity in the brain, which can cause it to not function totally correctly and sporadically and can cause a lot of problems for people who suffer from the, the disorder. There's apparently a lot of misinformation that goes around about epilepsy. Some people just think it just means like you just seizure you just all the seizures. time and yeah. you just have random seizures and there's a lot more to the story than that. Oh, whoa, 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 so, oh okay, doing? okay. Now go for it. Please don't let me interrupt you. I'm just gonna randomly make Don't let me interrupt like Anna's off. purple show. Yeah, this is my purple show. In any case, there's more things that go into into play there. I was planning originally to be able to open up the stream for donations this evening and have a little fundraiser it going at the top work, of the thing. Which is being mean. I have been trying for the past week to click the start fundraising button on the Twitch dashboard and it's just not working for me. So instead, I've provided a couple of different exclamation point links and if you'd like to make contributions to the Epilepsy Foundation, you are absolutely more than welcome to, but under absolutely no obligation to do so. I just want to open up the floor for that as being an option. Because for some reason, Twitch isn't on my side today as if to say twitch is ever on our side it's actually quite funny and what are you looking for shot glass, shot glass. why not use one of my beautiful cordial glasses they're oh, specifically no, made for tasting to like measure they're specifically made for tasting oh no i'm gonna put things in there oh that's okay gonna be my start drink okie dokie would you like me to welcome would you like me to make you a drink oh wait should Based we start with things? that one we were gonna. Well, okay. I mean, I have a plan, but like, if you wanna, if you wanna do something. We're gonna different, start with a drink of Anna's start choice. With a drink of Anna's choice. This one's called. Do we have a name for it? No, I haven't even started it. Yet. It's okay. It's called. I haven't even started it yet. <laughs> Very funny. We're gonna take. What is the red one of the Kool Aids called? Cherry. It's a chip. Are you sure? Yes. I don't actually trust you. Where is it? It does not say on the- Kool-Aid, it is Tropical Punch! You are wrong! <laughs> I'm still writing out the recipe title on the board if I may be so bold. So I don't I understand. Okay, so it. there's a shot of that. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't make a lot. Oh wait, this thing is like full. Uh, this is exactly how our stream is going to go, Cameron. Dude, that's the thing. Like, guest stars are a relatively new thing uh, at the bar with an X, so we're still trying to get, like, if we even th think we're sticking I to gotta a particular see if this plan. purple. I guess that means we're doing good. You're gonna try to mix the two together. We need the cocktail angle for this. Oh, why? Pop I... over the Midori. There oh, we yeah, go. I need over that the Midori. Midori. We're gonna see. Wait, 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 wait! Why did you? Why did you do that? Oh, it looks like horrible. Oh bad now. man, we totally missed the color change. Oh, I'm sorry. It is now brown. That's kind of purple. That's not like purple. Enough. Wait, wait, wait. Observe. Now, if I wanted to make observe. it more purple. Observe. 
purple. It's like no, that's like brown. Yeah, it's like a. It's got a. It's got a color gradient to it. So if I want to make it more purple, do I add color. blue or do I add red? I am inclined to think that we can add blue. more blue. So let's start with a half. Are you actually measuring it out, or are you just you just going for it? This is how I measure in the kitchen. Add some blue. Add some blue. 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 Oh, oh okay. that was pretty good. So that's like a shot. Kind of pink, all things considered. So let's go with another shot. I am so tempted to just take that thing and just like squirt the no, whole thing no, no, out. No, no, no. You have to measure everything. I also because have. Apparently, you measure just things. in case <gasps> things fall short. I've provided yeah. food dye as well. Okay, we're gonna get another shot. We're gonna do an actual shot of this. What's the blue flavor supposed to be? Um, I don't remember. It's some berry thing. Berry, berry blue. There we go. So it takes two. So for every one shot of the red, you it need takes two. two to tango. Oh, this angle okay. sucks. Let me oh, fix no, that. Oh no, wait, that was three total. Fix that Shoot. angle. Wait, wait, wait. I have to think. Actually, it all kind of sucks. And a half, and I did a full, and a, yeah. So oh. for every oh nope, two. that's too blinding. Oh, uh, don't don't blind people. I'm trying. To, it's a very bright light. You know what? I'm just gonna take that away. That's a very dark color now. You know, without the light, it's all kind of purple. It looks kind of black now. All things considered. Okay, well. In any case. <laughs> wait, I need to like add something alcoholic, don't I? If you want to, you can add your Chambord if you like. Well, what about the Midori? Purple is a beautiful thing. You can add green Midori if you'd like to. We'll see what kind of color it turns I don't know if it would make it, it like a different color though. More purple. What about like, but, like a nice like up light? Can we do one shot? There we go. I'm this just kind of- This is like black. That's, no, that's this a is orange. Better. It's got a nice know. mauve to it. Mauve? Put it to the camera. Show the- <laughs> I'm not very good at this I part. have to show the people. That's not how this works. Add a clear spirit to dilute the color a little bit. Oh! I'm thinking straight up Everclear. What do you think? Ew, give me the Skunk Town. Skunk Town Vodka. Hold on a second. I gotta get in. I like that one. Town. Skunk Town Vodka. That is smart. It's in the bag. <laughs> okay, so if time. I have a shot of that, and then I have like three shots of that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I got this. Uh, I'm hoping me using this light and swinging it everywhere doesn't make this stream ironic. Oh my god. That'd be unfortunate. You're so horrible. Well, let's start with... I mean, your advertisement for this initially was kind of ironic. Plus that wasn't the advertisement. That was just me putting stuff on the barn. Oh. Cam going to zero to hundred real quick with that Everclear, dude. I'm saying Anna one time took a shot of Everclear yeah. and then almost immediately regretted it. I thought they it. were being pussies. No, dude. Sorry, dude, bro. Well, your frat bros. They like, were being a okay. little over dramatic. This just looks brown. I'm very disappointed. But but what if I light it from the bottom? Down, bring it down, bring it down a little bit. There, there we go, it's still brown. Very funny. It's Anyways. like less brown. If you would like to click control and then numpad five, we'll be able to switch back. Control, to numpad, wait. Yes, indeed. No. Did I just it's this hit? one. It's the incorrect scene. Okay. I don't remember which scene five is. It's not the one. Oh, I never, bad. Corrupted Jasper never underestimates grain alcohol. Dude, grain alcohol goes absolutely wonderful in like iced coolers. You don't like this? That's disappointing. It's too alcoholic. It just tastes like watered down Chambord with other with colors in it. Time to add more. More blue! This recipe is called, I haven't even started it yet, by Anna. Are you keep, like drinking my alcohol? It's more blue. It's more blue. It's I definitely taste the Chambord in there. It's more blue. Chambord now? has like an almost like off putting berryness to you it. You know what? We're it's just got gonna... a, it's got a funkiness to it. I'm just gonna make it more blue. Okay. Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa then. Okie dokie. Uh, that looks a lot more blue now. Wow. I think that's blue. No, that kind of looks like cola. It's kind of blue, a blue color to me. Okay. Got a blue color here. I still got the light on. No, that's still red from my angle. Oh, that's red now. Shall we check? Can I need this Midori, like, but I like on a different location because Midori it is interrupting. It's interrupting our cocktail it's angle. Just interrupting you, actually, our angle. It? Our angle has been interrupted. I'm this is the cup of the cocktail. I should have just gone for the purple one. Oh, that's a nice looking purple, actually. Okay, cool. Check it out. Yeah. So Not you need a bad. full one of these. Okay, so this is made using an entire uh, wax plastic container of blue Kool-Aid. Wait, 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 I can find it. It is 6.75 liters. 
fluid ounces. 6.75 fluid ounces. That's not too bad. Uh, we mm, also have, have a about shot a quarter of that, of that amount. Let's call it like a single a ounce shot. and a half. That is a shot. Okay, a single shot. About two ounces worth of your red Kool-Aid. This is the blue one. You can't actually tell, but it certainly is. And then the one shot of that. A single shot, two ounces of Chambord or any sort of black raspberry liqueur that you may have access to. This is your these are your ingredients. Here, let's put this thing in front. And then one more shot. What a beautiful little, what a beautiful little trifecta we have here. Oh, and a shot of vodka. I gotta bring the vodka out. Wait, here, I've set it up. I don't even need my hands for this. It kind of looks like that's Skunky across. Town. Skunky Town. Skunky Town that's vodka. Just my it's the vodka. I don't know if I put this back here. Yeah. And this one's called. I haven't even started it yet. Made using about seven ounces of blue Kool Aid. Oh, Stovern, hello there. Welcome to the bar with an X. I'm doing with my dearest. Uh, what else was I going for? There's like two ounces of red Kool-Aid in there, red, two ounces of Chambord in there, or black raspberry liqueur, and you have a single, was it a single shot as well of vodka? Yeah. So about two ounces of your so taste town vodka. So let's taste it again, because let's I think it's taste it again. Alright, alright. Go back to the taste testing mode. Anna, absolute perfect taste tester. Here, you give it a taste test, okay. and I will begin the clean up process as we proceed to at least, at least my planned portion of purple drinks. It tastes like Chambord, okay, but okay, with, um, okay. with blue and red. <laughs> A.K.A. Steve. Stovern the Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. Welcome to the bar, Steve. Does it actually say Steve? No, it does not say Steve. It says A.K.A. Steve. No, A.K.A. Okay. But I was looking at it Stovern 12, Stover, and I'm like, silly. I'm like, I don't know who you that silly, is. Silly, silly, silly. Well, I, I don't know who it is either. That's the beauty of the anonymity of the internet. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. But we are still going to be married. And isn't that a wonderful thing? Two complete strangers getting married eventually. That's not how that works. Uh, well, maybe. You go through those. <laughs> Absolutely. I throw these things away because I'm the helpful bar assistant this time. I thought you were the bartender. So, 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 Miss Bartender, what's our first purple drink this evening? Aside from, I haven't even started it yet. Chicha. Chicha. Chicha morada. Something with purple corn. The ones that didn't mold. It's a beautiful. Hopefully. Thing. No, it's not the ones that molded. I did, did have they, some Did they did they unmold? Are you ready to get things started? No. Chambord. Now with more artificial flavor. <laughs> Chambord. Yes. Plus a bunch of blue and plus a smidge of red. Which makes purple? Purple ish? It kind of yeah, works. Yeah, I don't understand the proportion wise, but it looks hey, a Steve, lot Steve, welcome to the bar. Everyone say hi to Steve. Hi, Hi, Steve. Welcome to come to the bar with an X. We make to make drinks okay, around get here. Excited. Come on. It's time to get excited, I say. Okay, that was a really what terrible job of getting excited. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do it over again. What are you gonna do? Oh my god, don't attack me! It's time for the bar with an X. We're gonna insert excitement here. The first purple drink that it, I at least planned on our menu this evening is something called Chicha Murata, a Peruvian drink that I found on the internet a while ago. Suffice to say, there is such a thing as purple corn out there. They call it maize, M-A-I-Z-E. It's kind of like corn, but also a little bit not like corn. It comes in a variety of different colors. I, at least, I know at least here over in the northeastern part of the United States, I was once on field trips and whatnot to the, the more aboriginal and Native American uh, areas of the, at least the New Jersey area where the Lenny Lenate, the Lenny Lenate people are. Isn't that are. like where the whole, never mind, I'm gonna make myself self sound stupid. If you have anything to say, you are totally good. <laughs> Stovern says, you know me. Oh, I know you, Stovern. AKA Steve, I know you. Look into my eyes. I know that. But in any case, maize is a prominent type of corn, I guess grain, it's a grain, that appears elsewhere in the world, such as Peru. Peru is well known for their purple maize, which has a really cool characteristic about it, where you can take it and you can boil it in water, and the water becomes purple in a thing that they call chicha morada. Oh, here comes the stovetop. I wasn't quite ready for that yet. Oh, we're, we're, we're no, we're jumping into it. We're going for it. We're going for it. I am fast paced, Cameron. Take off your bar rubbers and let's begin to make some chicha morada. So chicha, chicha morada. Well, there's a plug over here that I will get started for you as I continue to explain the rest of the exposition. Oh yeah, you're supposed to do that while I. Do we need the pot or do we need the? Steam? We're gonna make purple drink from Peru. <laughs> no more explanation required. No, no, you keep talking. I'm just looking for where the pot goes. So to try to remain as authentic as possible, I ordered some purple, purple maize, purple corn on the internet. 
And on the bag, it said from Peru. And on the back of it was a recipe for chicha morada, but it's not the recipe for chicha morada that I'm using this evening. Instead, I'm getting one from a website called The Spruce Eats. And I found this quite a while ago. I don't exactly remember how I came across it. I don't know if somebody, I don't remember if somebody recommended it to me or not, but I saw something purple and I saw purple corn and I was like, damn, I love corn. And I also like the color purple. It's very close to my favorite color color blue. And so what we're going to do this evening is we're going to make some chicha morada, which involves taking this water. Yeah, you, you can put the it involves taking the water, boiling up your purple maize, and then adding a couple other things to it, almost kind of like a sangria. But we'll get things started on that. My dearest, can I ask you to do, oh, you were doing it, wonderful. Right now, Anna has grabbed about half a gallon of water. You need a full gallon for this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna dumb down, I'm gonna wean down the, uh, the proportions a little bit. All the full recipes and stuff will be added to the VOD videos after the fact, but also added to our Discord afterwards. But essentially what you do is you wanna take about a gallon of water, about four liters, pour it into to a pot and get that thing up to a boil. It's a little more than two liters. This is a, no, four liters. Yeah, but this, this, is, this, is, this is like a it's little, a little more, more. This is quartz on the back. Oh shit! Two liters on the front. It's doing is all right really? so far. Oh wow! No, in any case, still a little above it. In any case, add two liters of water to a hot pot. Plate? You can turn on the hot plate. Absolutely. There is a power button on the front and a couple of different modes associated with it. I don't know what mode we're doing. That's okay. We'll take this and we will. We don't need that anymore. Bye bye. Man, that was loud. I almost disconnected my entire computer. <laughs> that was cool. That's like wet nearby wires. It's okay. It's not that wet. Not yet, at least. Oh, God. So for this little thing, we're just going to get the water boiling. I, we got it turned on right now. I'm going to turn it to function mode nine. Oh, hello. Why nine? I keep I, everything's upside down. There we go. Nine. That's the nine. It just heats it up the fastest. Okay. And also what we're going to do is we're going to take the purple corn and first before you do this You're gonna to want to wash it first naturally. It does have a little bit of a weird high-pitched sound associated with it This thing? Yeah, it gets oh, a little, I thought you meant the corn. Whoa, hello really there um, So you want to wash your purple corn first I know when I got mine it had quite a bit of residue on it So I gave mine a full and utter washing and then I wound up drying it over time and I made it ended up falling on the floor multiple times and I had to wash those. I did not put a lot on the floor. I was very good with that. No, every time I walked by it in the morning, I would it's drop completely more and safe. More. Oh, well, that's because I had it on the table drying. We're a little clumsy sometimes. I mean, the, the, the apartment space is small. The bar space is small. It's not much. I, I sleep on the couch now, officially. Not really. Well, we'll see. In any case, the first thing that you do when you have stuff like this is if you're going to put it in water, just going to clean it off. You don't know exactly what's in there. So they, mine came all the way from Peru, so who knows who had their hands on it on the way over. So we clean it up a little bit. And I've got some clean chicha morada right here. After you do that, what you're going to do is add ears. In this case, it's a single pound of your purple maize and any of the stray grains. I've got quite a bit of this stuff. And it is, it's, this is, this is corn. It is very, very purple corn. Do we weigh it? Um, no, nah, I'm, I'm just gonna add the rest of the bag. What? Is that a pound? Pint? It's just about a pound, yeah. And remember, I'm using half the amount of water just to make things a little quicker. So this is our pot of boiling water. It's actually cool. This is the first time I'm using this angle over top of the pot so we can actually see what's going on on the inside as the water starts to boil. So all we're gonna do is just gonna take our, take our purple corn, just gonna add it to the inside. That's 0.45 kilograms for our friends overseas. Yeah, I've, I've memorized the ounces to, uh, what was it, ounces to milliliters thing, yeah. but not quite the weight stuff. You can actually kind of see, as I add the purple corn in there, the water is turning a light purple hue. And this thing is going to get almost as, almost as deep purple as Anna's drink over here. So it's gonna look like this, probably even more dark. I've added all my corn cobs. The water's not that hot right now. It's actually just in my old lukewarm right now as this thing gets heated up. We're gonna add all of our other grains as well. I've got plenty of them. So, here we go. The rest of them. What do you do with these things after you like... So actually, that's a really good question, Anna, and I'm glad you asked that. Uh -huh. So after you're done making chicha morada, for all intents and purposes, you can actually take the corn back out, all the maize, you can dry it off, and you can keep making more chicha morada until the kernels on the inside, because they're, they're like little corn kernels, until they start to burst. As soon as you start seeing the white from the inside kind of come out as if it were popcorn, then you've chichaed enough, you've moradaed enough from the chicha to so the point where they shouldn't be used anymore. So I could eat this anymore. as like corn even though you've like already liquefied it. Absolutely. I mean, to be to be honest, I don't know what other types of recipes so exist out there. we have purple corn tomorrow is what I'm hearing. Well, what happens for this, at least after this whole boiling process is done, it's not gonna like tenderize super much. You need a more aggressive process than this. Um, at least from what I found earlier. 
Amazing job, Cam. Thank you so much. Some of these ears of corn look like our host had a snack before the stream. Maybe. A little bit. The purple stuff, I mean. This was done like a week ago. Well, so I will, I will say, ago? okay, I will say Three as well, ago. I will say as well. As any good cooking stream slash food network stream or whatever network stream that you want. No, no, no don't reveal the surprise. Don't reveal yet. the surprise. Oh, no. I will not reveal no, the surprise. They can't know yet. Oh, I shall not reveal the surprise. You're going to have this sitting in here for about three to 24 hours. So this stream is going to go on for a little while. So <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you brought your popcorn. Wait, your what do we do popcorn. with it now? What do we do? Well, we have to wait for it to boil. In the meantime, as it's as it's boiling, we actually have a couple more ingredients that we need to add to it. Oh. And so I will list those off now. As you have your Peruvian purple corn, or maize, on the, on the cob, boiling in the water, or at least bringing it up to boil, we're going to add a couple other things as well. About one large stick of cinnamon, about four to five inches long, six whole cloves, half a cup of sugar, and we let that go. <laughs> 24 hour stream for epilepsy awareness! You know. Did you know that epilepsy is a thing? I have a couple of exclamation point commands so y'all can go out and do a little bit of research. Cameron, as well I want as a you to reread well. Corrupted Jaspers. Amazing job, Cam. Ama ama ha! It's a pun! That reserves a kazoo! <laughs> I don't have the, the wrong I don't have the I don't have the tuning fork of Aren't you supposed there. to like Anna, there's from no, this side? Please watch out with the hot plate below. Please be careful. Oh never mind, I guess you can't. As this thing's going, Oopsies. we got a couple other things. Purple day. Purple day indeed. Purple. I really appreciate that pun though, Jasper. That was, that was really good. Purple. So that's what we're gonna do. I think according to these instructions here, you're supposed to add together the water, cinnamon, and cloves first. Oopsies. You wanna add the sugar after I haven't added anything yet. Oh. We're good. Oh, we're totally I good. thought we we're weren't totally supposed good. to put in the maize yet. Maize, water, okay. corn, cinnamon, cloves. So, as such, would you like to pull out a five How to many? six inch stick of cinnamon? Just a single one will be just fine. I'll grab some clove in the meantime. This one's thick. That's a thick one. Go ahead and add drop it. it in. Yeah, just drop it in. You're good. Like, you, you, get it, you can get it all comfy and stuff too. Uh, yeah, go for it. Get it. Uh, okay. Yeah, get that cinnamon in there. Beautiful. And I'm going to add... Like six just things to clove. Would you mind switching the angle for us so we can watch these little dudes float around? Switch it? Control numpad five. Num. There we go. You got it. Drop a few of our clove in there. It is going to smell. There's not a lot of clove in there, but it is going to smell. It smells like clove. Potent. It already smells like clove. It already smells. Actually, like clove. if you have a really bad cough or anything, my uh, clinical instructor for the, my last C, my last CI was. She recommends like putting clove in water and then like Ooh. drinking it. It's a good idea. It helps clear up the sinus. Absolutely. So y'all might be able to tell right now, the liquid is getting very, very dark here. You can't even really see to the bottom of it anymore because all of that color is just like leached out into the liquid. At this point, it doesn't really have super much flavor to it. I'm going to give it a little bit of taste. It's not boiling yet. It's corny. For like for back of for lack of a better term, it has an air of corn-ish to it. Not like sweet corn, a different type of corn, more that earthy taste to it. Would you like to try? Please watch out with your nose near the very hot liquid. <laughs> to be fair, it will take a little while to boil, so tastes like water. Time. Tastes like water. Water. Tastes like water. It is watery, but it tastes like purple water. Water with a little bit of purple. Is no, a little bit of purple it doesn't there? taste like purple. A little bit of purple. No, Just purple taste usually taste tastes. No. <laughs> oh. Purple tastes a little bit like the blue dye and then the red dye, but the red dye is usually more powerful, so if they use less red dye, then it's more purple tasting. Come hither, come into the light. Uh, what? Come into the camera angle. Am I not in the camera angle? I'm in the camera How dare I'm you? I'm just making sure. It's a, tiny, it's a tiny little thing on the screen. I can't barely see myself, but now we're together and it's beautiful. Touch. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> You're good. Touch. Oh, right, yeah. oh my goodness. Okay. So essentially, I want to switch back to the other angle. There's not too much going on over here now. But eventually, this thing will start boiling. And after it does start boiling, we're going to add some uh, sugar to it. Half a cup, to be specific. I got a half a cup thing over here. Oh, let's start measuring out some sugar. Then we'll add things eventually. Okay. Do I put this on the side? Because I don't exactly want to move it. You can put it wherever you want to, my dear. Well, it's currently sitting it's at the beautiful. middle of the bar. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's Chicha Murata. You could if you wanted. Remember, a watch pot never boils. Exactly. That's why we have to change the camera angle up. It's science. So where do we put it? We're going to put it into the liquid. N eventually. You mean the pot or the, the camera angle? The, the whole contraption. The whole contraption? Why are you, like, pouring it so high? There's sugar now everywhere. Yes. And you blew on it, so now it's everywhere even more so. It's your fault. Oh my goodness gracious. My poor sugar.
Got about a half a cup of sugar in my little cup over here. But it's not ready. It's not boiling. No, it's not ready. You're absolutely right. I'm not quite ready to pour the sugar in. Instead, if you'd like to, you can pour some sugar on me, though. By Def Leppard. In the name of love. Not NSP. Rude. I mean, the cover by NSP is also beautiful. Dude, Rude. guys, listen to Ninja Sex Party. It sounds weird, but it's not. They are pretty weird, Cameron. You you can't just tell someone to listen to them and be like, oh yeah, there they're not weird. There is nothing weird about an almost 40-year-old man singing about having intercourse with furniture. There's nothing weird about that. There's, There's nothing so weird. weird. Everybody does it. Everybody no, they does don't! It. it depends on what you consider furniture about. You also picked one of the songs I can't listen to! Oh, wait. Objects of Desire? By Ninja Sex Party? Yeah, it freaks me out. The idea of people just doing that everywhere. They also have a song about uh, the coming of age, I guess, but not in the way you may think based off of the context of the band name. Cameron! That's Danny, don't you know? I know, but Did like, why would there? you- I hate you. No, 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 you don't. I don't think you- I don't think you do. As someone who is almost 40, there you go. Oh there you God. go. It's a fact, it's a fact. We have all engaged in such activities with furniture, including you. I have not. Maybe, maybe, maybe? No. No? Some of as bad as people explaining Table Coon to me in Anime Club. That's a very niche reference. Mm -hmm. I'm a Code Geass. That's a Code Geass reference. I love that one. I like Truck Coon better. It hits everyone and they send him to another world. Oh my goodness. So there's a couple of different mer- as, we as, we as we've got this thing kind of boiling over here, please watch out about the surface that has the exclamation point this on it. Doesn't it's hot! This part it gets hot! hot. Oh my god, I'm dying! Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is the story of like the boy who cried. Well, actually, here's a story for when I was a young boy, probably less than the age of five. Oh, really? I went downstairs. Oh, and you touched what the I stove? would do, what I would do, because I love to the little circles on the stove, on the electric stove top, is I would go to the stove and I would play drums with it because oh, there are a bunch of little circles on it. And I was like, ah, this is making a snare drum. And this is the bass drum and poop, 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 poop on a stove. One night I went there after dinner was made. And you know what I did? <laughs> Whack! <laughs> And I slammed my head in a hot burner because it was off and it was still cooling down. That's uh, I went what upstairs, you get for I cried, uh, my parents put, did, the, did the nursing of my hand, and, um, and then I went upstairs and talked that out to, with my computer buddy. My computer buddy in this case was a disembodied mascot on one of those like uh, children's CD-ROM programs. <laughs> I went upstairs, I turned it on, I was like, hey bear buddy, I really hurt my hand, and it said nothing. Because <laughs> it was a computer program. There was text on the screen, it had nothing to do with my burning hand. It was not empathetic. I felt like it was being empathetic, but that's because my worldview was very narrow at that point in time. Putt-Putt goes to the ER. Dude, Putt-Putt the little, little purple See? car. Yo, purple car, purple drinks, purple shirt, purple me. Bitch of fabulous purple unicorn. It's good stuff. That's a pink unicorn. Well, the unicorn itself is pink. Yeah. So, Chicha Murata has a bunch of different ways of being made. One of which was a recipe that I found on the back of the packet itself, which I did take a picture of, but I don't know where it is because it was like a month ago when I bought it. Been preparing for this one for quite a while, actually. But at least from what I have here, there's a, the, some of the variations include adding different types of floating fruit. We'll get to the floating fruit part. First, we have to wait 3 to 24 hours for this thing to actually come up to temperature and then cool down. We'll be here for a while. You can also add different types of sweeteners. It doesn't have to be just like regular sugar. I think I'm just using when like a, a raw cane sugar after it comes to temperature. Well, no, that's a mix of like white sugars and cream. It's a little bit of white sugar, sugar a little like, bit of brown honestly, sugar. Honestly, I just tried to, no, it should not be brown sugar. Brown sugar is different. Ooh, Ooh. please don't look out the, Anna, please don't look out the window. Why? Please don't look out the window while the stream is going on. We don't need people getting too, too curious out there. <laughs> this is how it's going to work all night. <laughs> Every single night. But I just physically steer us back on topic. It's okay. It's a thing that I, I, I'm pretty good at Anna, why are you doing this? <laughs> See, the reason why I don't like to stare out the blinds is because I'll awkwardly make eye contact with someone and then I'll wink at them. The all the time. And then I'll wink at them and then I'll put the thing back and they'll be like... Actually, to be fair, if somebody looked at me throughout the, throughout the window and winked at me, I feel quite flattered, actually. So I think I'm just doing the city I think of it Philadelphia depends on service. who it is. Okay. Well, see, I should look out the window again. No one's out there now. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop you this time. Go for it. No, that's fine. So why don't you show them the red Kool Aid? Why? Or the drink? Are you gonna like... show them the bottle of Everclear and be like? <laughs> no. You also legally can't get that in Philly, right? Yes, you can. I thought you can't buy Everclear that's in Philadelphia. Not true. Why'd they go to Del? Never mind. Delaware because has cheaper. It's cheaper cap. in Delaware, so I mean. Again, many different ways of making chicha morada. I'm, I'm, I'm dragging this out because the water's still not at the temperature yet. It's just starting to heat up a little bit. Actually, Will would you mind- Will it be mind, hot if I stick my hand in? Yes, I would assume so. Would you like to spin the angle over here? 
With, oh! Spin the angle. Wow. Here comes the angle and a shirt wow. first. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you can really see the stuff going on there. Isn't this good stuff? They're very good stuff. We run, a quality, we run a quality show around here. Black. That's it. Just letting you know, this is the center point here, and if you are anywhere between these two lines, you will be in within the field of view of the camera. If you'd like to be. It's okay. They just can come you know. back to me. Just letting you know. Mostly because I don't think I use this angle very much when there's other people than just me here, so. Multiples. It's still a learning process. We're still learning around here. This Chicha Murata is getting hot! Which means the color is making even- it's getting even better. You might notice as well, I just noticed here, that the cinnamon stick has totally darkened in hue. And that, I think, is pretty cool. You should push it below the maze. I will put it below the maze, as per your request, my dear sous chef. It's sticking up! It's sticking up? Oh, never mind, it broke. Oh, it snapped! With the magic of Chicha, you can take one cinnamon stick and make it into multiple. I don't think that's how it that gets wet, works. damp, and then begins to fall apart. Kind of like me in the rain. That or like the Wicked Witch weird. of the East or West or West. whoever it was. The Wicked Witch of the West. The Wicked Witch. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Wicked Wicked uh, Wicked Wicked Wicked. Oh, Wicked Wicked Wow! Witch of the Witch of the West. Uh. Wow. Anyways, back to the beautiful angle here. I guess at this point in time, it might be smart to wind up uh, uh, hyping up the other cocktails that we have this evening. Cocktails. Okay. Did I mention that Chicha Murata doesn't have to have alcohol in it? You can ferment it. It is a thing that you can do. The chicha, after staying for a while, depending on if you add some other constituents to it, like let's say yeast for instance, as a fermentation agent and something for the yeast to feast on, like sugar and stuff, can start fermenting. And you can make a fermented chicha beverage from that. I didn't do that this time um, because I didn't want to play around with it, naturally. And, uh, but, but maybe. Wait, what? That's not alcoholic? No, none of this is alcoholic. Chicha Murata is not necessarily alcoholic. Funny. Did you try it? You gave it to me like the first- oh, never mind. I, we're, it's we're, been a hot- here. it's been a hot minute. Technically, if you wait long enough, the chicha will eventually Murata. It's true. In this case, the chicha, the chicha, this is the chicha, Murata as in the verb for fermenting, it seems. Absolutely. It was like a legit, just a type of corn beer from what it was re what I was reading. It can oh. be. I mean, essentially, right? So it's made from corn that's been sitting in water. Aren't if you add a bit of fermentation to it. Beer can be a lot of things. A bunch of different types of beers. You can do like honey beers, I guess corn beers, all different types of beers. Wouldn't a honey beers. beer just be like a mead? Well, kinda. There's different, depending on what kind of spirit we're talking about, I'm not an expert on mead or beer in general, so I wouldn't know for sure. For some, it might be that mead is like a, like something like a bourbon where like, to call it mead, you have to do certain things to it or have a certain percentage of it. Morad, morado, She's morada smart. is actually Spanish for purple. Morada, yeah, yeah. All I know as is morado. azul. Morado. Azul. Azul is blue. Correct. Rojo is red. Azul plus, plus rojo makes morado. Not linguistically, like that, that's just the color combo. That's just how it works. <laughs> linguistically, they Rojo! Change. We're the blue one. Azul. 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 You can do azul or azul. Uh, I did it. My, my Spanish teacher said orange. azul. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a t, but it's also kind of s, azul. Actually, I think it was azul. Parate. Like an S. What's parate? Stand up. Parate, parate. Parate. No, calm down. That, I, that's it the only cue I remember because I worked with a lot of kids Ooh, that only speak Spanish. Oh, I get a little bit of bubbles! I can't see. We're getting some bubbles in there! These poor people. You can, you can see the They're watching bubbles. water boil. It's not just water. It's chicha. Okay. Chicha, meaning so corn. So it's boiling. Morada, mean meaning the sugar? purple. Chicha morada, translating roughly to purple corn drink. So and I put in beautiful. sugar now. No, 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 what? But it's yet. boiling. It's not boiling yet. Yeah, but there's bubbles. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's read what the instructions have to say, according to thesproceeds.com. Oh my god. Place the ears plus any stray grains that may have fallen off in a large pot container with the water cinnamon enclosed. Put the hot pot over high heat on the stove. Once the water reaches the boiling point, reduce the heat to medium low. Allow this to boil for 50 minutes. Remove the pot from the heat. Allow it to cool down. It's all safe to handle. Strain the liquid through a fine strainer or a pitcher setting aside, not discarding the solids. Add the sugar to the liquid and stir until it is completely dissolved. Taste adding more Wait. sugar to desired, though this beverage is most refreshing when it is not overly sweet. Wait, you ask. So, we measured out the sugar, but it has to boil and then calm down for like 15 I minutes. I told you, we're gonna be here for at least another three hours. I don't think I can stay here. So 24 hours. Nope. That's how, that's how nope. it is. That is absolutely what's planned. Nope. Mm -mm. 
Now, what the actual plan is going to be, after it reaches that boiling point, we're going to cut the we're going to cut the temperature, and then we'll add the sugar to it, and I will take it off to the side where it will automatically sit for the next 24 hours. Wink. We'll sure. cut. We'll just time travel. Trust I me. just noticed I didn't even put the proper denominator. Cameron. Before. To be clear, it has Ever officially clear. started yet. To, to be clear, let me make things ever clear to you. We haven't bad. beat that. That's so bad. What, ever clear to you? Yes. Oh, you mean the drink that you made for yourself called I haven't even started it yet. It's still bad. I would like to take my prideful moment and say this is why I'm a mixologist, but anybody can be a mixologist. We're just going to add more of this. See, right? it's great. Ooh, time machines. It is indeed time machines. We, just like Tony Stark, have discovered the Mobius Strip and applied it mathematically in such a way that we will be able to take Chicha Murata zero hour and turn it into Chicha Murata 24 I'm hour. Done with this. You're officially done with that? Yes. Would you be heartbroken if I trashed it? Because I don't really like it. Nope. No? Nope. I have Here, to hold this for a moment. Oh, do I just dump it? Dump it into the honorary bucket. It's an honor for the bucket. A drink for the bucket. It's an honor for the bucket. Put the glass in the bucket. Why? It's the honorary bucket. It needs the glass to drink you're offering with. No, it doesn't. Are you still going? Oh, okay. You want to use that? That's okay. Honorary bucket. It's the honor for the bucket. That's a very concerning thing. It's not very concerning. Not unless the occult develops for the bucket, in which case everyone should be concerned. The bucket cult. Cult of the bucket. A drink for the bucket. It's an honor for the bucket. It is an honor for the bucket. Oh, look at this. Another honor for the bucket. Swish. I missed it. You missed. That's Horrible. okay. I'll fix it later. The chicha is continuing to come up to a boiling it's like boiling. temperature. It is sort of kind of, but like technically only pieces of it are boiling. It's not a full boil. We're getting there, you know? This is why I don't like cooking anymore. I love cooking. Actually, so Anna just finished up one of her clinicals for physical therapy. That's the only reason she has off this week, which is awesome and an honor to have you on stream, if I may say so myself, despite the fact that I see you pretty much every single day. No. It's still an honor, though. A major, major honor. Major honor. Salute. In any case, it's great. We do love an Anna stream. We do. We do. I, I love haven't it. been on in a while. I love an Anna stream. It's been a hot minute. It's been the hottest of minutes. So we're letting this thing boil. Technically, pieces of it are boiling. I wouldn't say the entire thing is boiling yet, boiling. although I do see some bubbles. It's totally boiling. Bring the angle back. Control numfad five. Numfad five. Why yeah, it's, it it's the bad five. Because it's distinct from the other five. Can't you just make it square five? Also, let me let me put the. I need to do something awkward for a moment. I would call that a, a square. Moment. I need to do something awkward for a moment. What there is we awkward? go. I need to readjust the way that the phone is being kept in. Why is that? Because it's being weird. I this is our chicha. This is our chicha. It's coming up to temperature, it really is. Also, this is my way of specifically testing the limits of this induction cooker. For the most part, this thing brings water up to temperature almost instantly, except when there's too much of it. Or other stuff on the inside, such as this corn, that absorb a lot of the heat. Does it? Oh yeah. This is not my specialty. Mmm, bubbly. Look at all that smoke that came up. That is totally bubbly. Dude, it's a, it's a really bubbling now. Only after it starts fogging up the lens. What? I did with my finger there for a second. By the way, would you say that the um, the the cinnamon is adequately hidden? I have no idea where it went. Neither do I. You lost it, Cameron. Oh no, I lost the cinnamon. It's gone. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I lost it. <laughs> it always brings water to a boil immediately, but only if there's a tiny amount of water in it. This is factual information. <laughs> I have tested it at least three times. <laughs> And in one case, if you put hot chocolate in it, it will boil over and make a complete mess of your bar. That you actually that. heated up a lot. Fa it heated up a lot faster that time. It was actually pretty interesting. This really isn't heating up super much, and it's a. Uh, I think it's just because there's not a lot of there's not a very good piece of contact made between the bottom of it. It's an induction cooker. So to get real technical, what for container a second did there, you use before? Was it this? I think one? it was the smaller one. Okay, that's probably one. why. So an induction cooker works by utilizing induction to create a current in the metal object above it. Metal has like free electrons that can just like whir around like this. <laughs> and if you make them whir around like this enough, it causes things to heat up. And it's cool, which is why this pan is a little hot right now and boiling water within it. It's magic. It's not magic. It's electricity. But it is kind of magic. The time machine is magic. It's definitely magic. <laughs> this is the sound that the Zippy Zaps make. Zoop, 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 zoop
What's the music like right now? I have no idea. Oh my god, you have music? Always. Too much. Yeah, you have fun there. We're partying with the crowd. It's bubbling. Ooh, switch the tank. We'll be using numpad five. Now I know why you take so long with each, like, whatchamacallit. It's almost been 40 minutes, and we're still just watching water boil. How many drinks are I'm we sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was rocking to the lo-fi bits. Oh my god. It's been In any like, case. How are you guys enjoying this? This is 40 minutes of watching water boil. You know, you could take that criticism and make it constructive if you'd like oh, to. I'm oh, I'm sorry. I oh, forgot. We, oh, we had my drink before. Oh, oh, dear. If every drink takes, like, 15 minutes, you would be dead. <laughs> yes. You'd be tanked. Would be tanked. Would be crazy. Be totally tanked. So this water is boiling slowly okay. but surely. Did so. you know it takes an incredibly high amount of energy to heat Aww. water up? However, it keeps its temperature for a while. Okay. We're also, you two are very entertaining. You have a curl right but he here. Typed that, but he typed that Whoa. with underscores. Look at the little curl. I, Wait, I have to fix underscores the are cool. If you have another curl, do you think it would work? Here, we're going to try and make your hair curl. Can you tell? I'm very distracted tonight. Oh, it almost worked! I have to hold it. I'm a beautiful unicorn. Bitch, bitch. I'm fabulous. That's what my shirt says. Oh, okay. We're going for it. Watch nope. as Cameron is woman handled nope. and the Chicha Maradas. Nope. Next time on Bar with an X. Okay, Watch Anna style my hair, right? That right. involves way too Cut much my effort. Hair. Cut my hair. Dude, what? Anna cuts uh, Cameron's hair stream? I don't. I mean, we can try. That's okay. Dude, Cameron dyes his hair stream, bleaches it, and sets it on fire. Is that, that against TOS? Horrible. So you may have noticed, as we've been messing around with our luscious this locks over here, content. this is premium quality content. I don't, oh my god. Premium quality content. Oh, there's a countdown for when the ads go through. Yes, I do see an ad countdown now. So as a means oh. to make sure that pre-rolls don't happen. No more pre-rolls. Pre-rolls are a thing of the past. You can enter the stream and take a seat at the bar without having to pay the Bezos bouncer metaphorically. So, um, however, we do have to. If I press the bottom button, that makes it an ad. No. Well, that's a that's a longer ad though. Oh, you don't why is that, that a longer? Don't click ad. that button. Don't click that button. That's oh, Brad. No ads for Jasper. The ads aren't happening yet. <laughs> Your kindness not, does not go unnoticed. For that, I'm gonna cheat to this Murata for you. <laughs> you, have to, you have to, no, 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 no. So, actually, I'm gonna let you figure this out. You're coming to the coming to the thing. <laughs> what I want you to do? No, 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 this is okay. It, we're cheating. <laughs> Hum. I want you to hum with your mouth open. That's weird. There you go. You got it. There it is. So now sing into it. Sing, sing the hum into it. I, won't look, I will not look. I will not embarrass you by looking. I need to go. Looking. I need to go. I didn't write Chicha Murata on the board. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. We applaud you that. Know. What That's is the mine. For it? I even have an emote for that one. Take a look at that. The beautiful hair. That's oh. the beautiful hair. More the lurk. It's the lurkage. I had purple and blue hair for a hot second. That's so cool. I love that. Would your boss? Okay, would your boss bat an eye if you went in with that wild hair? No. He would probably look at you funny, but not question it. I don't think there's anything wrong with this hair. What are you talking about, wild hair? All right, all right, hold up. Go back to that angle for a second. What? This stuff is moving. Some oh. of those corn cobs, some of those corn cobs are really popping. Not really popping, but like bopping. I want popcorn now. Yeah, but like, I can't make popcorn. I could make popcorn. I mean, we could. We could technically take the pot over, put some oil into it, and make popcorn on stream. <gasps> That's not purple, though, unless you add food coloring to it. You must make it purple. If I add purple food drink stream. coloring to the oil, will it make the popcorn purple, or will it just look purplish? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, I have to move this That's no, okay. I just want to make sure that like everyone can see the beauty that is whatever you're talking about. I think we should try this. So that I can have pop purple Absolutely. popcorn. So long as we get to the one that uses purple potatoes and the chicha morata, I'm okay. That's the only two things I really want to cover. See, I'm I'm just a little distracted tonight. So you may My notice. brain has not been on one thing. I mean all if day. you dyed it a crazy color. Oh yeah. 
Oh my god, yeah. So, so, so as of now, you may notice that the chicha is now thoroughly marada -ing. So I get to put that in there? At this point, I'm gonna hand the sugar container to Anna, I and I'm it. going to turn off the heat so that things don't boil dun, over. Dun, 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 as dun. As you do that, okie dokie, it's all in there now. Woo! I'm gonna take our chicha that has been continuing to marada, and we're gonna completely mix in about a half cup of sugar. Again, I, bears repeating, the recipe that I have calls for about wait, 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 a full pound or full do, four do, do, cobs do, do. of that purple maize Why are you using to this, the recipe like, that I have thing. here with a full gallon or four liters of water. You have like so many spoons downstairs. And you well, because I didn't bring stick. up the spoon. I forgot about the spoon. What? What? I used oh. my muddler. We got the muddler for this a bunch of for reasons. So as of now, we're going to mix in all the sugar and incorporate it as, now that the heat is off, it is going to cool down, come to room temperature, and you let it sit there for about three hours. It smells like cinnamon. It does smell very cinnamony. It's got a very, it's got a very cinnamony smell to it because of the cinnamon in there. And the clove. Oh. It's, it's very, very nice. It's very Christmassy right now. Very, very Christmassy, I'd say. No, it's more Thanksgiving. Okay, it's very Thanksgiving. Mm. More yeah, it's good. With you're that. totally, you're totally good. Because you need a little more pine in order to... Whoop! It made stop noise. Yeah. Now it's now it's done. It turned itself off. Okay. What do I do it's with beautiful. this now? So now what we're going to do is we're going to automatically put our chicha Murata into a time machine. Again, if you were going to do what I was doing in I the time it. machine off camera and you won't see it, I will go time machine it. Anna's gonna go time machine it. Okay. What you would do is you would allow us to come down to temperature and sit for about three hours. <laughs> Technically, what you want to do is you want to add the sugar in after it's cooled down to make sure you don't get some weird like like oversaturation stuff happening there, like what happens in physics, I suppose. Um, but if you don't, you can just do it our way if you want to. There's so many different ways to teach a Murata, and this just happens to be the one that we're using this time, so it's all good. I thought I lost the time machine. Now That's we okay. wait 24 hours. We wait an entire for 24 hours as Why I- Why would we do that? Down. I time machined it. It even changed containers. Wow, look at that. That is so crazy. You prepared this the miracles system. of modern science. Anna, can I get some rubber up here? That's what is okay. a rubber? It's, it's, it's my bar rubber. Can you oh. pick up the, the, the chicha morada? Ta da! Oh, I should have put it the other way. Ta da! Way. So that y'all can focus on when he No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't read the. <laughs> there is no date on there. <laughs> you just erased the date. How am I supposed to tell when this is? This is a full bottle of chicha that's been morada. Ooh, ah, Food Network magic. It's crazy. I did make this. Ahead of time, so that Why we can actually see what happens. Why is there a bag happens. on it? Because this this glass container doesn't provide a full seal, so I put the bag on top of it to provide a more like kind of pipe sealant thing. Where did we get this glass? I don't know. I found it one day. I think I stole it from the fraternity. Oh, I was gonna say, did you pick that up? I definitely the side stole of the this road? from the fraternity. Okay, cool. No, I definitely took it. I you definitely found it in a closet and was like, hey, this looks pretty cool. And I took it. 24 hours. Indeed. Oh, God. that was a really quick 24 hours, dude. When you're watching premium quality content, time like that just like, whoo, it just flies by. No, no, no. We had a time machine. Oh, welcome, corrupted Jasper One. Corrupted Jasper One. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Ooh, Wait. ah. Welcome, my girl. Welcome, welcome, indeed. Kim, why are you well? What? 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 Why am I? Oh. That's what that thing says. We oh. react appropriately. It's a beautiful, wonderful oh. thing. Welcome again. I, for some reason, thought you were already following, but now that you are, here is your chicha. And it's a beautiful chicha indeed. Anna, would you mind giving this a smell? What does it smell like? Funny. Funny? Ooh, it does have a little bit of a mustiness to it. it I wonder. It smells like old. I wonder if it's been sitting for a while. It literally, it literally has not been for like 24 hours. So the other part of the chicha that we're going to cover over now is basically 16, how you basically how 17, that you serve it. 18, 19, 20, You're counting now. 21. Go ahead, you can count it now. Yeah, by all means. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 14 about, days of 24 about, hours. About yes. Two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. yes. This thing keeps for a while. There's nothing bad about that. Does it smell like a sandwich you'd get at a vending machine? Wait, wait, wait. Does it smell like a sandwich you get at a vending machine? In the meantime, I'm gonna grab our other ingredients. No, it smells like like you know how for Christmas sales they have all those like those like cloves and smelly things? Not the lavender ones, because I'm not allowed it to. It smells like potpourri. But it smells, smells like, like, like someone potpourri. put it in the potpourri. And it, but the potpourri like went bad. Potpourri. potpourri. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. I, 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 think, it I think it's a little potpourri. I think it smells like Poop potpourri. -ri. Do I take this out? So there are many ways that you can serve your chicha morada. The recipe that I'm using here kind of serves it up kind of like sangria. What you do after you make your chicha, or in this case, like your pre-chicha, that's just kind of what I'm calling it here, you will take it and you will combine it with a couple of different things. You can put a bunch of different fresh fruits and stuff in there. Anna has found my glass honey stirring rod. Oh, this is where it went? Yes, it's been up here. I bought it for myself. <laughs> that's great. 
So you essentially treat this kind of like sangria. You will put this in a container, you'll chop up, in this case, a couple of green apples, Granny Smith apples in this case, and you will add the juice of four key limes. What These I'm going to pretend are key limes. They are not key limes. I could not find them at the store, but that's what we will do. And that is the juice of all the limes, no. not the, the limes themselves. Where do you keep the knife? The knife is going to be uh, the black one right there. I Absolutely. stabbed these, right? So what we'll do, well, hold on, oh, oh, hold on, hold your hold your hold your is there, girl. Let's put this over here. We're gonna, can you, can you not hold the knife over my hand? Please, thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> those are all those. I was gonna what say, those are whole ass limes, limes, not key What's limes. What's the difference between a whole ass lime and Well, a key size lime? is a factor. Key limes are notably a little bit smaller than regular limes. Can I chop them now? You, you are free, to, you have to juice them. Yeah, so stuff. I have to chop them in half. So, so what we're going to do? So I stab. What we're it. going to do is I'd like to get a bigger container so we can actually sangria this stuff up. Please be careful with that. Oh my goodness! I'm just going off to the side. Am I a good cooker yet? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> do you think that this will fit everything? No. Okay, no. Okay. Then we'll just put it right in the container. I'll split it into two containers because we have a lot. We're going to add a little bit of 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 um volume to this so naturally this is going to happen i, I got a big old i got a big old stein in the meantime i'm going to pour out half of the chicha morada into my stein here and then we'll kind of even we'll kind of even things up as anna cuts some limes so what she's doing now is she's cutting up the limes halfways and we're going to squeeze the lemon the excuse me the lime juice into the chicha morada and i guess we'll split it in two different locations because liquid and stuff do i cut up the apples too um, yes, you can cut them up into chunks. Goodbye. There we go. I got two got two containers of the chichi in the background. Now, do you want them in slices? Do you want them in like weird like well, I leave it up apple to you. slice? Oh, I want nothing more than for you to have a wonderful time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Would you like me to squeeze the limes in the background? Yeah, you can do that. I can do that. I'll squeeze more. the limes in the background. I got four halves over here and four halves over there. Also, why are we using this one? I don't know. I grabbed it first. Uh, do you want the other one? No, it's okay. It's okay. I think that one's. You're doing better. totally fine. So I'll do four limes into this one. Oh, four limes into the other one. Look, that was big. Ooh. I despise this juicer. Why? Oh, you know what's really, really cool? Actually, this is, this is awesome. I just found out what to do with spare lemons and limes the other day. It's, it's awesome. I need a container to keep them in now. Oh no, I need a container to keep them in. The bucket is full. What do I do? I don't know. What do I do? And I'm gonna get a container You didn't take the sticker off this thing. What the heck? No, I did not. I just bought them from the store, silly. Did you wash them? Yes. Oh good, okay. I had a mini heart attack. That would have been weird if I didn't, obviously. Yep, it would have been. Oh, there's a bad part. What Dude, so I will I will share with the crowd later on, but I found out a way to use your um I found out a way to use your discarded lemon and lime stuff. I literally just found out the other day. What I do you do? I don't I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. As I, as I did mention. Careful there. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking out the Did you part. wash them? Yes. <laughs> I'm inclined to think so. You know, this also looks actually kind of cool too. I decided on a whim because I like to do different things on my every other Mondays. I actually streamed it on Monday on the YouTube channel, on the VOD channel. Streamed me going to Giant and picking up ingredients. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> it's a kind of too fun thing. I did that totally impromptu. It was really, really. It was. It was kind of interesting. It was the first time of me streaming in public. It was wild. It's on the VODs channel. That's the. That's the one there. There we go. There's a live section. I don't think it's public right now. Come to think of it, I think you need to. I think when you do a live stream, I'm trying to. I'm trying to experiment with stuff. That's What's tart. Up? Oh, it's, it's a Granny Smith apple. I would assume it's tart. Absolutely. All the tartness. Yeah, I. I think when you do a live stream on YouTube, I think you have to manually go in and unprivatize the video. So I don't think it's up there. So from this standpoint, it seems like I'm lying, but I had at least one witness. Okay, so this is. Where do I was we... gonna say I did not see that video. Yeah, do it's I just private stick right this now. one in here? Um, yeah, absolutely. Do I just drop them. Yeah, just drop it all in there. So this is one apple. You do seem like a fibber. I do right now. I do seem like a fibber. Burp. So you're putting the apples in that one. I just squeezed half of the limes into this container, and I will take the other half of the limes and put them into the one that you're currently putting apples in. What? Go ahead. Put out. Put out apple stuff in there. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't see anything. 
Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. You... There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah. There we go. Put the put the chicha in there. But well, I guess this is not the this chicha. It's chicha. part of the chicha. We're sangria eating it. Thank you very much, dear. I'll have to cut this one. Thank you very, very much, dear. Very, 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 very much. Thank you so wait, much. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you so much for playing my cocktail bar. What? Okay. There we good. go. Now let's put it all in there. Oh, teamwork makes the dream work. I'm just moving faster teamwork than work makes the dream work. That's okay. Uh, dude, be prideful about that. Be proud of that. I am I am definitely a slow mover. That's why these streams take to take so damn long. It's because I'm slow. But some would say taking my time and being patient is a good thing. Technically, yes. Technically, technically. Why would you disagree? No. Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, okay. Are you a quick kind of person? I don't like I'm not patient here, so. That's okay. I understand. You know, if I realized how much key lime juice was going to be needed, I would have picked up a few bottles when I was in the keys. Get it? Keys. <laughs> key limes. Because key limes go into uh, lock limes. Somebody insert something about what? like Lyme's disease or something here. No, I don't know. That's not funny. It's not funny. Not funny at all. Not funny. Did it not? Did not laugh. No, not funny. No, I don't think this is that. You are totally good, Jasper. You are totally, totally, totally good. I don't think there was any particular need for the key limes. Honestly, I realized I needed the key limes the other day. I wasn't going to buy them two weeks ago, naturally, because then they would have certainly gone bad. Yeah, Cameron um, But I haven't seen any. So. What was it, carrots? I did buy some purple carrots to see if we can do anything with them. And, and I, they went bad. They went bad almost immediately. They went bad within like two days. My po partner also asked how to do key lime pie. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Oh, that sounds good. Dude, he better get up on that key lime pie train. Mm. Oh, good wait, stuff. My father loves key lime. I do it's not like key lime pies. My Anna does not like key lime. I'm not sure if it was because my grandma bought really shitty. Pe Dude, key I'm lime discovering pie. new things about you. I didn't know you didn't like key lime. That's so new. I like lime stuff. All right, so you were out out here touting about your speed. However, I finished juicing all the key all the limes. Well, the no. quote unquote key limes. Oh, get it? I just noticed that was another joke. Key ingredient. The key lime ingredient. <laughs> right? Was that a joke or did I just make that one? I don't know, you could have. Get it? Huh. Key lime was gonna be needed. It's a key ingredient this time. A key ingredient. Key lime. Key ingredient. Yeah. Funny. I find that hilarious around here. I went to a place in Key Largo that put coconut in the crust of their key lime pie and it was life changing. I also oh. recently realized that coconut cream is a delightfully amazing thing. And I, I freaking love coconut cream. Hey, let me swap these places with you. You can take a dissin, and I'm gonna take a dissin. I'm just like, I have to like undo the bad parts of the Go for it. May I start placing some of the- Wait, some of the, Okay, okay. No, no, no. You are, you are the master <gasps> of the apple cutting procedure, so I will allow you to continue. I will, I will permit you to continue going. Oh, I didn't know I was permitted. Absolutely. Always permitted. All right, go for it. Ooh, I just noticed. Dude, look at the beautiful color on these apples. They're getting all red in there. I will, I will put a better angle together after we put everything inside. I'll start mixing up the other one, though. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, my goodness, I love that. That is a beautiful... Wow, look at that color. Wow, look at that color. That is so cool. This is going to be delightful. I feel like it's going to be delightful. Beautiful sounds. Bartending asthma. Ooh, don't fall. Actually, let me see if I can, like... I might dye my fingers, but I'm gonna do this. There we go. Look at that beautiful... Beautiful red-red color. I love the way that, that looks. I wonder how that tastes. Nah, I gotta let it sit for a while. I gotta let that sit first. It's gonna taste like an apple. Mm. Ooh! Oh, the limes add such another angle to that. I love that flavor! It's almost coconutty. I don't know why. Maybe my brain is like focused on the coconut right now, but that is almost coconutty. That is awesome. All right, we finished up here. Yes. Can I ask you to place this to your side? Put that on the table. Thank I will you. bring these guys onto our bar rubber. Mind if I swap places with you? Why? We don't have to. Oh, I I was not meaning to do that. What were you doing? Oh, I clicked it, didn't I? No, evidently you did not. But that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back there actually. Oh, I was just I need to put the I need to put the scraps of the apple away. I wanna show y'all what I'm doing with the with the chicha ing. 
So let me pop this angle over here. I can put it straight down. That's a thing that we can do, and it's awesome. There we go. So that's what it looks like right now. You can see that the Granny Smith apples and stuff, they really haven't changed much color yet. But the chicha itself has such a beautiful, beautiful red color to it as we kind of put things together and mix it up a bit. Those apples are going to completely absorb all that beautiful, beautiful red mauve color. Now to be fair, to be fair, this is not as purple as purple gets. However, depending on your rods and cones, it's the rods. Is it the cones that see color? Um, which which structure in your eye is colors? It's the cones, right? I think it's the rods. I think it's the cones. I'm a, my vote's on cones. Alexa, is it rods or cones that produce colors? What? Oh! What? I don't think I understand that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Cones are color. Imichas said it. I believe it. Rod see black and white cones see color. Ooh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. That's our chicha. That is our chicha marada. So being that, what you want to do here is you kind of want to let those fruits and the lime juice kind of work their magic on the inside of this. What we're going to do is we're going to do move on to another cocktail afterwards and then we're going to come back and we're going to taste the chicha morada a couple drinks later after it's had a time to to sit around and infuse just a bit more that part of the stream you can all hang along hang around for i'm gonna go get the popcorn and it's gonna go on get the popcorn in the meantime what do we do hmm. eat a piece of granny smith apple that is beautiful i love the way this tastes i was so i kid you not i was really really looking forward to see how these how this chicha morada was going to turn out and so far, I'm very, very, very happy with it. Very happy indeed. Also, like, it completely, it's kind of staining my muddler. And I kind of like that. It's great. The chicha almost makes the apple slices look like tiny little watermelons. You're totally right, because they got the little green on the outside and the red color on the inside. That's a cool looking thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of my coasters out, and I'm going to put them off to the side. Pikachu's going to handle it from there. Let me grab, let me grab some of those things. There we go. There we go. We'll put them over here. Pikachu, please don't drink it all yourself. That would be unfortunate. And then we'd all be out of luck. There we go. I'll put this one out front, right next to Pikachu. There you go, buddy. There you go. And we'll put that there. Easy, easy access for later. So Anna got some popcorn stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can make colored popcorn. My... <laughs> My phone went down my pants. What happened? Wait, what? What? Would you like to share that? In per would you like to share that again? Nope. Okay. All right. <laughs> totally good. So now I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna get the induction cooker again because, to be perfectly honest, I was not prepared to bring it out again. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's beautiful because it's made done this, this, this in, induction stuff. It actually uh, nothing happens. I don't think my rubber is gonna melt if I put this on top of it. Um, I could could be famous last words. We'll see. Okay, okay. Let me give it a try. So take this. All right. And now we're gonna make purple popcorn, not with chicha. Hold up a second, kid. I'm making popping corn. Okay. There we go. This is like this has become like qu a quasi cooking. Anna's having fun. So the chicha this is will where continue my brain is. in a little bit. Oh wait, what happened to the chicha? Well, the chicha now is continuing to marada. I'm using that as a verb now. Probably not what people want me to do, but I am doing that. Oh, a little bit of oil in there. And shall I bestow upon you the wonderful food coloring? Ooh, do watch. we even have purple? Oh wait, one second. You have to mix a little blue and you have to mix blue and red together. You should do that. I can do that, absolutely. Ooh. Anna's adding quite a lot of oil there. No, oh my you want a little gracious. layer on top. Okie dokie, I believe you. Oh, I need a purple little more. Purple corn, purple, purple popcorn, purple popcorn, making purple popcorn, a purple popcorn, purple, purple popcorn. It's kind of, it's kind of cool, kind of cool. Never done this live before, good stuff. Anna, would you mind instructing us on how to make popcorn? You take popcorn. Okay. You put it in a pan. Okie dokie. Wait, wait, hold on. I forgot something. I need to write this down. Hold <laughs> stop. Step one is popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> okay, what's step two? Uh, you, in pan with. Pan. Pan is next. Cover right, cool. fully with oil so everything has a thin layer cover. on it. Cover. 
Oh wait, where's the oil going here? In the pan. Popcorn, I need to put that in between. Oh. That's like step one, <laughs> one. I think that's easier. Popcorn, step okay. two, enjoy. Done. I mean, that is pretty How many easy. do I put in However, here? However, I don't think it's comprehensive. Okay, so if I put one. How about you put equal amounts of each and then we'll see where we are from there. One, two, three, four. Somebody's gonna pop up on here and be five, like, purple drinks, what are we, are we drinking six. purple oil? Sorry, step one, popcorn. Step two, uh, step three, enjoy. R slash the rest of the effing owl. One, two, three, four, five. How's your red turn, by the way? One. It's just two. It's very red. Oh, three. Like that. Very good. Four, now you are going to have five, to mix that six. around a little bit. Okay. How oh. would you like to do it? What kind of mixing up. Oh, you're just going to go for it. All right, just going gonna to shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Oh my gosh, it's almost purple. Oh my god, it's almost purple. Not really, look at that. That's hey, so weird. No, that looks purple to me. Well, no, actually. No, they're kind of like bubbling. So I think the water coat, I think the dye itself is, um, it's probably water-based because it's not mixing with the oil at all. Uh, can y'all see that? Actually, let me, see, let me see if I can get that closer. Can you see that? It's not really, it's not really mixing with the water at all. That's kind of cool. Should I do any more? But. Oh, that's good. But. Would you like to put the cover on and I'll turn on the heat? Okay. Let's see it. Purple. Oh, it needs to be plugged in. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I didn't plug it in. Cameron, I was so excited for this popcorn. It's okay. Hey, I'm still excited for the popcorn. What? Has your excitement died down that quickly? Yeah. You like ruined it and now I can't have it. Oh, enjoyment ruined. Oh my goodness. Go back to your TikTok. Take your- Oh, I forgot to add the salt. Wait, take here. your short attention span and go. Oh, get some salt in there. Oh, get some salt in there. Himalayan pink salt. This is pretty cool. Himalayan pink salt. Okay, that should be good. Alrighty then. Pop that sucker on. Give it a turn on. And we're gonna put it on... I don't really know what modes there are for this, so let's see. Hot. I see six. You wanna do hot hot? Uh, sure. It should move it up fast. We'll see. We'll do five. We'll do six and see if that's I good. don't know if this will turn it purple. We're gonna have to see. Well, I mean, so think of it this way, right? I think that it will turn purple because what winds up happening is the dye, the water components are going to hit the white part of the popcorn. I think it's, I think gonna, it's gonna, be... gonna dye purple. I think it's totally gonna dye purple. I think we're gonna have like a mirage of like blue I... and red and- Hey, if we have a mirage of blue, red, and white, then that's downright American. There's nothing more American than attempting to raise money for epilepsy awareness and then Completely getting, completely getting screwed over by a tech giant. There's nothing more American than that. <laughs> That's really sad and true. Yeah, I know. It's just pretty terrifying, all things considered. Loud noise warning. We're about to get popping out in here. I don't know if that's going to be loud. I mean, dude, it's starting to smoke in there. And USA! USA! Pop the corn! Pop the corn! Man, it's getting real hot in there. It's good stuff. Oh! I'll get it going. It smells like it's starting to burn, my dear. Wow, it actually smells like it's starting to burn. Yeah, wow. Maybe we should turn it down. No, the other ones aren't popping. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. I can hear it now. I can hear it now. Oh They're my not... goodness gracious. I am almost scared. Oh, I hear the popping. The popping is occurring. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, it's going for it. Let me know when you want me to turn the heat off. This thing is getting smoky. It's actually getting really smoky. Holy cow. Oh, I was getting really smoky. Oh, Anna, that is downright smoking. Okay. I turned it off. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but is it purple? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, maybe it's still a little too hot. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, residual heat. Ooh. Oh, we got another seat. What does it look like? Is it purple? No. It's not purple. Should we add more dye to it? What is the dye gonna do at this point? I don't know. I don't know. Do you want me to? Yeah, let's add purple. We're gonna add some purple. All right, put it back on. Put it back on. We gotta add some purple. Well, if I put it back down, it's here gonna we go. burn. Here we go. Bottom. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna put some more. Purple, 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 please, the camera, the camera angle. Where's the camera? Put it forward a little bit. Okay. There we go, putting a bunch of color in there. Okay, let's try this. Now, now it's gonna be we'll put it back up and we're gonna see what happens. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's really just the one thing. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> it's red, white, and blue. It's American! It looks like someone had like it's, a blood it's bath. Weird. It's it's American. It's I was like so... American polka dot. Oh my god. Well, apparently it was a uh, it was apparently a lot more USA than it was purple. I'm very upset. I was hoping for purple pop. <laughs> I hate to receipt repeat myself, but USA USA Very purple in there. 
If you mix around enough, do you think it's a... Nope, it's nope. definitely... It's no. it's just the top ones that it's you spread, the top splattered one. with. Oh. oh, disappointment. We've discovered something today. In the attempts to make purple popcorn, we have created all-American popcorn in the beautiful colors of red, white, um, and blue. Which, when you combine it together, more. it's like it's like lavender, I think, if you combine that all together. Red, white, and blue. So how's it taste? Is it good? It's probably hot. I'm going to wait on that, actually, a little bit. That's oh, a lot. salt. You can get some more salt. Would you like me to crack some salt for you, ma'am? Here, come hither. The dye tastes funny. It's sweet. Just, just say when. Just say when. You're literally putting it on one spot. Just say when. Okay, it's fine. It's done. But you didn't say when. You must say when, dude. You must say when. No, they're not gonna attach. And with that, no purple popcorn. The beauty sadly. of popcorn is over. Sadly, no popcorn. The beauty of popcorn is over. Well, I mean, there is popcorn, but not purple-age. And now there's oil everywhere. Woo! It's never gotten oily over here. Wet and wild. Oily and wild for epilepsy awareness. Mostly just to bring the, the thing to epilepsy awareness. Honestly, at this point, it's really just, this is where Anna's brain is, and there's 20 things going on. That's fair. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's, there was popcorn, there was chicha, there was Murata, sometimes all at once. It's a beautiful thing. I was promised purple popcorn, and he couldn't deliver. <laughs> Hold on. Based off of our experience so far, I think you have to combine the red and the blue first, and then add. Then we would have purple. Then why don't we do that? Mm. Would you like to do it again? No. These taste weird. <laughs> You have to taste one with I have the to dye. Taste, one of them. taste them with the dye. With the dye. Well, the dye I found out what was it two weeks ago. What the dye it? has a sweetness to it. It's like sugar. It's syrup. It's a little bit of syrup. Best by 2021. <sighs> oh, ignore that. That stuff's fine. I mean, it's just yeah, sugar, it's water, and dye in it. Ingredients: mm. red vegetable glycerin, invert sugar, water, red radish juice, Excuse me as I citric unplug. acid. Blue, vegetable, glycerin, water, tessacross, sucralose extract, sodium, citrus, green, vegetables, glycerin, water, a, a polysorbate 80, tresaholis, sucralio extract, turmeric, sodium, <laughs> yellow. <laughs> Don't read them. <laughs> it's fine. I just can't pronounce things. I'm in the second percentile. Aren't they satisfied, my dear? No, I can't read. Lovely. In any case, that's how you make purple dye. Oh, that's how you make dye, evidently. Best by October 26, 2021. Incredible. Or maybe it's supposed to be October 21st, 2026. That's what I'm going to choose to believe. I think this stuff is just fine. So where do we find ourselves, dearest? About an hour into the stream so far. How many we're drinks only, have you made? We're an hour in? Yeah, we're back an hour or so in. We made like one and a half fish. Only one so far. One and a that's half That's Chicha Murata. The no, Chicha no, no. is currently... my drink and the Oh, that's true. Not done. We did make a drink called I Haven't Even Started It Yet, which had some Kool-Aid in it of various different colors. What did you do this, this poor piece? We also had, we also had Chambord Knit or Black Raspberry Liqueur, and we also yes. added some vodka to it, just to like, just to up the ante a little bit. It was not a good drink for us, so we gave it to the honorary bucket, and it was an honor for the bucket. And I think the bucket is currently enjoying itself, making an absolute mess, the as it usually does. The bucket is just sitting there like The bucket is does. just sitting there, menacing It does not have right. feelings. I mean, it's an inanimate object, it's so that does, that does make sense. Animals Indeed. don't have feelings. Indeed. Indeed. And next what we did is we made some chicha morata. Essentially how it's you do that is yet. you take- Yes, it's not done yet. I'm getting to the explanation part. It's fun. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Take your purple corn, purple maize, put it in some boiling water, add some cinnamon, some cloves, Wait. some sugar, and then wait for it can we not can we make popcorn with the maize yeah i don't know exactly how that works though oh, that's just you could probably try i will do that well, i assume you take the corn kernels and you put them into oil now at this point remember all the corn kernels are completely covered in water and oil and water especially in hot environments don't mix super well so i mean oh. if we wanted to we could totally start a fire <laughs> Only no, I have all my board games here. That's a bad decision. Also, the apartment's a little smoky. Does it seem a little smoky, y'all? It doesn't look smoky. I'll hail the bucket. It's a little smoky. 
In any case, so what you do after you take your chiche murata and you put the cinnamon, the clove, and the sugar, and the, the corn in it, you let that sit for like three hours or so and come back down to temperature. You can put your sugar in then, or you put it in the beginning just like we did. Wait for it to cool, and then strain all those things out, and you're left with what I'm calling pre-chicha in this case. After you have your pre-chicha, you're going to cut up some fruit, put it in there, add a bit of juice of key limes if you have them. If not, regular limes will suffice. And now what you do is you kind of let the, in this case, some green apples and that lime juice go to work and kind of sangria in a is way. Is it not supposed to be green apples? It can be green apples. You can use green apples, you can use yellow apples, you can use crisp pears. There's a bunch of different types of fruits that you can use. It's basically all to your all to your liking. I feel like that would go really cool aesthetically. So why did you pick out the green apples? Because I like green apples and I thought it would be a nice sour You like green contrary. apples? Yeah. Really? Yeah? Okay. Really? I love green apples. They're sour. I like them. They're good. And now these ones look like tiny little watermelons. How do they taste so far? Can we? Ooh, I love that. You just stole the poor jug's green apple piece. Dude, that tastes so good. Oh my god. I will not. The sourness of the apple, it. not totally gone. It's a little. It's a little tropical with that lime juice in there. The chicha kind of dries it out a little bit. It's also purple. It's got a wonderful flavor. I'm really curious to see what the liquid tastes like after the next drink that we have planned. Oh, what's the next drink? Well, let me ask you this, dear. You're my guest star, so you get to help me decide. Of all these, aside from those last two, that one because we can't make it, and that one because I want to do that at the end, which oh. of these other ones seem to your fancy? Fancy! Phone's fancy? Fancy. Phone's fancy. So the drink that Anna has picked out next is one that actually comes from this book that I love dearly called Mystic Libations, and it's a D&D inspired cocktail book. Critical Cocktails for the Thirsty Adventure by Brandon Clayla and Todd Stashwick. It's a really, really awesome book and I would highly recommend it. Now in that book is a page on the Fawn's Fancy, actually specifically page 66. Let's, let's go to it. Page 66. 66, 66, 66. There we go. Got it right here. It's pretty. Fawn's Fancy. According to Anna, it is indeed pretty. We're going to be making this one right over here. To create Fawn's Fancy, as I look into my beautiful bardic tome over here, you are going to need the following. You need two ounces, or about 60 milliliters of lemonade, Do one ounce or 30 milliliters of cranberry juice, one ounce or 30 milliliters of grapefruit soda, and two ounces or 60 milliliters of oolong butterfly pea flower tea. And you garnish that with a little bit of flowers, if you have them, I don't, and a lemon wheel. This is a mocktail! This has absolutely no alcohol into it. So I was Yay! hoping that this would come around so that Anna could give it a try because she's not very big into the alcohol, which is fine. You grabbing the cranberry juice? I have some bubbly over there to take for the grapefruit. Oh, is that what I'm using? Indeed, we use that for the grapefruit oh, soda. Ah. And I also have on the side over here, allow me to, before we move on too quickly, I am going to take my board and I'm going to update it accordingly. Update. Oh, the chicha, isn't that still going on? So we have, have to that? come, we have to come back. Oh, we have to come back. So the chicha has to write that multiple back. times now. Do we have actual lemonade or is this lemon? We're gonna make some lemonade. We're gonna make lemonade. Some lemonade. Awesome, awesome. I like awesome. lemonade. This is called Fawn's Fancy from Mystic Libations. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Fawn is in a person, not not like the Fawn's Fawn. a person? I believe it's a D, &D character. Now let me just read it. Fawn's Fancy, page 66. It says here to brew long tea, it's instructions there. It doesn't really give details on it. That's this point. Yeah, no, it's just, um, there's nothing really there. Mm -hmm. A lot of the cocktails in this book are actually based off of D&D &D characters that were made by the people who wrote the book. So it's, it, I, I'm inclined to think that Faun is a character. I'm like guessing maybe a like a druid still. or something. It could be too. I'm honestly not as knowledgeable on it. That's so knowledgeable. what we also need for Whoa, this- Whoa, there's like D&D maps on the back of yes, this thing. Yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. There, oh there wait, wait, they have like actual- Wait, Cameron, why have we never played the- There these are magical items in it. There's a whole nother Bardic College in there. There's, there's a, a sample adventure. There's maps in there. Yes. There's a bunch of stuff in that book. It's wonderful. Yo, I'm going to learn how to do this. Dude, absolutely. Chill of the Mountain Kagoo. Rich says, here in Atlanta, we've got a popular purple drink. Scissorp, a.k.a. Lean. Cough syrup and promethazine. Guessing you won't be making that tonight. Well, I don't have much cough syrup in the house. And I'd like to stay away from the, the hard chemicals and stuff. And to be honest, promethazine, I'm just learning about this app this evening. However, if we come back to purple drinks again in November, in honor of National Epilepsy Awareness month which happens to occur in november maybe we'll go back to the lean scene 
I don't know if that's good for epilepsy. That's a question for the doctors and the clinicians out there. Lean, though. Have you ever had lean? Purple lean? What is lean? Oh, don't worry about it. I think their roster is full for this evening, at least a little bit. All right, so what we're going to need is we're going to make some lemonade, but we also need butterfly pea flower oolong tea. So... Does that mean we have to make more tea? We have to make some tea. Yeah. Absolutely. What was that about not bringing out the thing in a doodle? Well, I get forgetful sometimes. Also, Apparently, we're going to need this multiple times. Where did I put the oolong? Oh, there's the oolong. There's the oolong. That's oolong? And there's this thing. So we got some oolong tea here. We got this thing over here. Got some butterfly pea flower Wait, in there. And this one over here. Just need the this is oolong tea. Why do you need oolong? infused as well with butterfly pea flower to make it blue? What's oolong? Tea? Oolong tea is a type of tea. Exactly. What kind of oolong? Well, let's learn from Bigelow. No, I was gonna read it. Our family is proud of this recipe. Good job. That's that's the you gotta do the top one. The top top one right there. In the, meantime, selected in the meantime, I'm going to go plug in our apparatus off camera. Oolong ranges from light to dark, but is neither a black or a green tea. It's a distinct class of its own. The art of crafting oolong is demanding, but certainly worth the effort. Unique flavor profile requires meticulous attention to detail, including color, aroma, and taste. Our brew is on the bolder side, yet smooth with a lovely toasty finish. This exceptional tea is simply delicious on its own or when paired with your favorite food. One sip and you can truly taste why we love our special oolong tea. So it's like not green tea and not black tea. So tea, AKA a particular genus of tea plant. I thought oolong was supposed to be white tea. Well, there's white tea and there's black tea and there's a bunch of space in between. I actually have a really good book on tea that I'd recommend. I have oolong has that. caffeine in it? Yes, it does. Actual tea leaves contain caffeine. Oh! Where's my serendipity book? I know it's around here somewhere. Serendipity? Oh, the tea book? Yes, indeed. I don't know too, too much about tea, but I do enjoy tea. And I got most of my info from this book here called Serendipity. It's wonderful. And it, pub it publishes uh, stuff about its own brand, which makes sense. Why not push your product, you know? Why would you just throw it on the ground? Because I did That's things. Disrespectful this is my, this, this is my place. This is my place to do things. Got some hot water heating up in the background. In the meantime, our chicha is continuing to Murata. What is a B corporation? B corporation? A B corporation has something to do with taxes and stuff. Certified B corporation. I don't know what that means exactly. How to make a perfect cup. Start with fresh cold water and bring it to a rolling boil. Pour it over the tea bag for two to four minutes and remove the bag. For iced tea by the glass, steep longer and pour over ice. Then it'll dilute it a little bit more. So essentially what we're going to need is we're going to first need to create lemonade. Aren't you going to need a mug? We will need a container. Eventually, when okay. we put it in there. It gets mixed with ice. Is it a shake? Or a we shake? shake everything together. So for this one, we're going to add everything together. And then we put things in. Actually, it says this. It's to put it into a mixing tin. We're going to take the cranberry juice and the butterfly pea flower tin and put it into the mixing tin with ice. We're going to cool it down. Then we're going to add it. Then the cool part of this happens. Butterfly pea flower tea. Is that, nope, that's a, that's a stirring apparatus, actually. You're going to put it in a mixing tin. What you do with the butterfly pea flower is you'll combine it with... That's correct. Very, very good. Look at this cool trick I did. Whoa. That was cool. That was not cool. That's pretty cool, right? That was really bad. Absolutely. I get some ice as well. Remember, we need to make the tea first. Oh, shoot. Okay. So we have to make the tea first, which is why I'm boiling up some water. So we should get a mug. Why do we need a mug? Would you like a mug? We got mugs. I got mugs back there. Don't you need a mug in order for it not to break glass? You don't have to use ceramic. You can also use just other things. Also, it's going into a metal container. Oh, never mind. Put it yeah. No, you're good. You're totally good. I like where your head's at, though. That's true. I That's just don't need to break any of your glasses because no, no. So like we're taking go out we're taking the tea and we're going to steep it. So after the water comes to a boil, what we'll do is I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add in the stirring apparatus, which is which is glass, but it's a tempered kind of glass, mm -hmm. so it shouldn't break from the heat. I'm going to add the oolong tea to it, the little oolong tea bag. And we're going to add the butterfly pea flower to it as well. Then we'll pour the whole thing into here, shake it up, pour it into a glass. Then we're going to add the grapefruit soda and the lemonade to it. And watch as the butterfly pea flower turns from a blue color to a red color, which is kind of purplish because it's a pH indicator. I thought it turned more purple. Purplish, reddish, blue and red together make purple. Yeah, but I'm pretty the sure the pea flower like turns purple because the lemon would make it turn purple. The pea flower, the pea flower starts yes. out as blue, yes, and the red pH indication brings a red hue to it. Combining together with the what's left of the blue and the red becomes a more so, vibrant, like lighter purple. It's purple. It's not red. It's purple. It's changing. Indigo. 
There is one way to find out. I don't know. And that's by doing it. Which is why we have the water boiling in the back. This seems like Hues and Cues. Hues and Cues is a board game, actually. Yeah, where you just debate the color. That's true. Well, I mean, the whole point of Hues and Cues is you point at a hue on the board and give the cue a single word, or in this case, two words. Where is Hues and Cues? Oh, I just packed it. Do you want Oh my gosh. Yes. Retrieve Hues and Cues. Yo, Brad loves Hues and Cues! I'm glad we're not the only people who know of this game. It's true, we were at a board game convention. We actually hunted him down to have him sign it for us. Yeah! It was if I wonderful. Got a poop, we would have signed that one too. Poop. Poop. Hughes and Q's, signed by uh, Scott. Scott. It's on our Instagram. Scott. It's on my cosplay Instagram, right? Yeah, it's on my cosplay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I'm the third to, day wait, of. It? Scotty! Yeah. Scotty! It was the third day of us being at PAX. Ooh. Brad played it a bunch on the cruise that he went on. Oh, they had board games? Like, Dude, I'd love to go on a board game cruise. There's a board game cruise. It goes out. It's from Dice Tower every year. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Board game cruises I sound cool. Right? Indeed, indeed. So I currently, think things are continuing things. to continue to heat in the background. So what we'll do is we will grab a container, a tempered one, and we'll add the thing. Oh, thank you. Would you like to... Do you want the popcorn? Oh, was asking if you want it. Oh, no, I don't want any popcorn. Thank you so much, though. I do... Oh, I guess I'll take a little bit of it. You mm. did all... Uh, no, thank you. That's okay. It's all right. It's no longer hot. They did the Virgin Voyages cruise. They had a social club where there was just a bunch of board games. Dude, that's my... That's my kind of... Social club. Now, is board it anything like my board game situation? I don't know. We have like almost 50 something board games. In no, the no, no. Library. We have 135. Okie dokie. Much less, actually. Incredible. Mm. We have the whole collection. We should really well, get that insured. Anna's going to go count those. As the, can things continue to boil in the background? I realize a lot of this stream is waiting for water to boil. It's a damn good thing that we've got some very entertaining personalities on stream this evening. <laughs> and by that I mean only Do I Anna. Do count all of the villainesses as individual or just the I would say each piece of villainous is considered an expansion of the first one except for Marvel. Because it has a different rule set. Uh, that's five. Oh, holy seven. shoot! Got it. Eight. We're good here. It's fun. <laughs> Yo, work that body! It's time to do some cat cows. Thirteen. Anna's currently counting Gabe. She's too distracted to correct me on how I'm doing this incorrectly. Or maybe not. To do a cat cow, you take your back and you arch it this way, and then you arch it out the other way. And just kind of keep on doing that. Do I count all the Ticket to Rides as different ones? No! Well, yes, they're all different flavors. They're not expansions of each other. They actually provide a different role of play for each one. They all have different rule sets, even so slightly. Therefore, they're considered different games. At least in my opinion. But I'm just a boy with a bar. So what do I know? Oh! Does anybody hear that sound? Over the sound of Anna counting games. It seems that our water is done. So our hot water has finished boiling. <laughs> that sound though. It's like a slow it's like a slow-mo chicken. Kind of is though. Yeah, right? Kind of like a cockadoodle do. So what I'm gonna, gonna do is I'm gonna take this hot water and I'm gonna put it into one of my glasses very slowly because I am relatively certain that these are good for temperature, but if they're not, then I'm about to find out. And uh well, well then I just have to buy some more. So let's see, I'll take some of that water. Put it inside. Just a, just a smidge. Just a smidge. If things crack, that's just how it is. Alright, things are heating up a little bit. Can't find out without screwing around a little bit. You're right, you're right. Alright, here comes some more. 139! 139 games. Yes. That's what we got. 139 games. Three of them are back at home because they just came in in the mail. Alright, I am inclined to think this mixing glass is doing okay so far. Would you like to jinx it? On I'll three. It. One, two. That's hot water, dude. How's it feel? Hot? It feels hotter. Sexy? Outside of the little Absolutely bridge. ravenous. 
No, none of none of the above. No, not that. Oh, now okay, I okay. take. Wait, you're supposed to pour the oolong on top of we it. We have to steep the tea first. You're supposed to pour it on top of the tea bag. That's what it's said to do. That's if you're trying to make the perfect cup of tea. We're not making the perfect cup of tea, my dear. Instead, what we're doing is we're bastardizing the name of tea, and then we're gonna add stuff to it. I don't think they'd be happy to be called a bastard. Colder first, then warm. That's what it said. Technically, it was cold first. Technically speaking. So I just tear this. One second, one second. We're gonna ah! color change happening. Do some color change stuff. Allow me to mess around with my angle just a little bit. Oh, this is a color change. Well, we have to put the butterfly pea flower into it. Oh, this is our hot water. Don't I have to put the oolong on it? First, we'll take the beet, the, 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 yeah, you do that. Do that thing. Get over there. Cameron, there's a garbage right over there. Excellent. Now, if you, if you would like to let it steep, observe as the color goes from completely clear to a kind of brownish color. This is the oolong part of the butterfly pea flower oolong tea. Would you like to begin juicing lemons and making lemonade? Whoa! <laughs> there goes my lemon. Oh my god. I'm making it. Ah! I probably should before you break everything over what there. What happens below the bar stays below the bar. Lemon. Lemon! I need the cutterers. I will give you the cutterers. Here you go, cutterers. I will place this behind. You may start to just to slice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this conveniently placed brown paper bag, which, for all intents and purposes, contains butterfly pea flowers in it. You know, that's a little sketchy that she gave it to us I'm in gonna, a brown bag. I'm gonna reach into the aforementioned brown bag and pull out what I'm calling butterfly pea flower, and that's totally not, what was that before, Rich? Was it um, pur purpose something whatever zone or whatever? You're gonna put a lot in there. I'm putting some butterfly pea flower in it. That's a lot. We got a lot of butterfly pea flower. Do this we is my need butter, that much? My butterfly pea flower. It's for color and for flavor. Here we go. Little in there. Got a couple, a couple little bits falling behind. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna take my oolong tea bag and kind of use it as a means to get those butterfly pea flowers a little farther in there. What should happen is this color, which is a bit more orange, is gonna get like a nice blue tinge to it as it continues to infuse. Actually, I want to get a little more aggressive there. So please allow me to take one of my stirring apparatuses. There we go. We'll get all, get all in there. Get everybody to know each other. It's actually kind of turning green. I think it looks black. It's got an interesting tone to it. That completely darkened up. Wow. It's kind of cool. Where do I put the lemonade? Kind of cool. So we're gonna need to keep the lemonade separate. Separate from everything so far. So would you like an apparatus to put it into? Actually, yeah, this totally has a green color to it. Check this out. Check this out. It is totally green. I can't tell. It is totally green. Watch this. That looks. Oh my god, it's kind of green on the bottom. Whoa, that's kind of cool. I they can't really see Whoa, the green no. part. No. But this part like... is green here, and then that's. Oh, purple. just let me let me take a picture of it from my angle. Oh wait, my phone is under there. Oh, please watch out. Hot. Hot, 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 hot. Cameron, please understand. Anna yeah, you has have a less different. You have a different thing. Bro, you need some light up coasters, dude. I know. I've been oh, that'd be it. so smart. That'd be such a good idea. Okay, I gotta take a. Actually, can I just like take a picture of it? I'm gonna do a take a picture with a flash. Wait, 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 I got this. Oh, you got it? You got it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, mine's not Oh yeah, powerful. oh my god, it's purple. Well, I guess it's got a purple color to it. Yeah. I took a picture of it. In any case, um, that was the angle that I was super duper excited about. And you know what? It didn't work out exactly the way we wanted it to, but eh, here we are. For all intents and purposes, butterfly pea flower. Because it is butterfly pea flower. flower. <laughs> I, I swear it. I like popcorn. Popcorn is lovely. Would you like to give some more to me? Popcorn. We're running out. Lemon. I told you we should have gotten pur purple chips. That's a reference. Does anybody get it? What? Bro. Remember that pea flower margarita you had? Did, did, did the same change? Did it change? No, if it got margarita, it probably got some lime juice in it. It must have changed color. So... This has been sitting for however long for us, however long it took for us to get here. I'd say it's properly infused. So we're gonna take our butterfly oolong pea flower, and we're gonna we're gonna let that sit. We're gonna let that put off to the side. We will use that as a piece in our apparatus. Okay. Actually, what I'll do in the meantime, because we're actually using it as an ingredient, is I will take my strainer, I will put it over the top of all the ingredients, and I will rather rather oddly. Would you like me to do it because I have less tenses in no, my good. hand? No, we're, we're okay. Because it's still hot. It is very hot. I need two full ounces of this. So I'm going to grab myself a... I just realized I should grab my measuring majigger first. You can't just assume? 
No, I like to do the cooking by the book. <laughs> Bless you, my dear. Bless you, my dear. There we go. There See, we I don't go. exactly do that. I just kind of throw everything in a pan and then assume it will cook. And my one friend hates that. Got two full ounces of that. That's two ounces? Yep, that's two full ounces. About 60 milliliters for the folks across the pond. Okay. But you have to add the lime yourself for it to change color. That's kind of cool. So on the one side of our shaker, we'll put in this case the hot ingredient, which is making my measuring majigger hotter as it goes on. But with a little swish and Done. flick, now we're good. Eventually we'll add ice to it. One of these things is gonna get very, very hot in the meantime. It's pretty good. And again, I guess you can't really tell, but it's got a blue color right now. I guarantee it. All right, the next two ingredients that we'll need are cranberry juice, grapefruit soda, and lemonade. Anna, how would you like to do your lemonade? Like lemonade? So are you gonna use, I guess, a little bit of, a little bit of water? Let me say half and half, lemonade, water. I have a solution. Okay, okay. Where's the squeezy? The squeezy? Squeezy. I like the other one. You can use the other one if you'd like to. There's nothing stopping you from doing so. You put it on the floor. It squeezed gross. limes though. I don't- So it's contaminated. That's not contaminated. Well, You're I mean, contaminated. It's a little bit contaminated, you know? Just a, just a little bit contaminated with the limes. The dirty, dirty limes. Don't be- So what right. Anna's doing now is measuring out, let's say, uh, it's- it's- it might be half a cup. Maybe not. We don't really know. We're just kind of- we're just kind of squeezing a single lemon and seeing what happens. We do need at least two ounces of lemonade. I think we have- And if that. we take this and we mix it with equal parts of water and add some sugar to it, bam! Instant lemonade. It's easy. I also like how I didn't do this on the mat where I'm supposed to. You can do it wherever you want. The mat is just a suggestion. It's more of a guideline. The you know? mat is so that we don't make your bar sticky. Yeah, but then I clean it afterwards. It's a part of the process. After the you bar should clean it no matter ends, what, but this stream. at least makes it better. That's a great idea, Anna. What I should do is the bar with an X stream should be done on Twitch. And then after the bar with an X stream ends, we go to YouTube and then stream me cleaning up the bar. Someone would watch it, but okay. Dude, people watched me go into the grocery store. It was awesome. Why did people... Never mind, I don't need to ask I don't know question. what the why is. People just did it. They... It's because I have a pretty face. I didn't know that. Maybe. I That's don't know. weird. So, the okay. key for this one is that you don't want to mix the butterfly pea flour infused oolong tea with the lemon juice just yet, because there's going to be a color changing reaction that occurs, which is kind of cool to watch. So what goes into our shaking tin is the pea flour oolong tea, as well as the grapefruit soda, which, or is it the grapefruit soda or the, oh, the cranberry juice, which actually might be a little acidic now that I think about it. But, you know, we get there. And then we add the grapefruit soda. The soda in this case probably going to have like some sort Where's of like acidic thing into it. The sugar is, is right there. Green top container. Oh, yeah, my you got it. container that you stole. I thought you gave it to me. No, I did not. And oh, we've been through this. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I didn't realize I stole it. We still don't have a container. You can have it downstairs. back if you'd like to. No, it's fine. You already stole it. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Did you add a little bit of water to it? Yeah. Awesome. So Anna has made lemonade in a cup. It's a tiny cup. And that's going to stay in that cup for a little bit. And then we'll have our grapefruit bubbly in the background. In the meantime, Need I think we're at an adequate level where we're going to take the butterfly pea flower stuff and we're going to take an ounce of cranberry juice or about 30 milliliters. It's been two hours! I don't remember what we set the two hour apart for. I don't remember what the two hour mark was. What was, was the either. thing that was supposed to sit for two hours? I, I don't I don't. The know. pea flower gin! I mean, I have I have some butterfly pea flower gin as well, depending it's on... It's been two hours since you put it in depending there. Depending on which cocktail we make, which I don't know if we'll get to it. But we can. It's okay, I don't like gin. So, for context purposes, a timer went off. Bam! It's time to celebrate. Uh, I have some gin. I have some butterfly pea flower gin that I infuse. I didn't have a lot of it, and I figure I have gin and butterfly pea flower. So, uh, I put two and two together, and they've been sitting beneath the bar. Secretly for two hours. For about two hours now, just about. Usually, if you want a nice blue color and not super duper, super duper potent, you keep it in there for about two to three hours. And you I like it. Nice it's color. tart. Ooh, okay. Not yet, though. May I ask you to retrieve for me a shaking cube and two little cubes? Or oh, I can get it. Here, you know, no, 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 actually, you know what? You stay right there. Never. I might need one large cube and a couple little cubes, Do I or. Throw it at you? Um, you can throw it at me if you want, but I might miss it and it'll shatter on the floor and make an even bigger mess than you may think. Breaking ice cubes is a problem. Breaking news. Oh, breaking breaking news? Haha, <laughs> get it? Get it? 
Does that mean it should break it? Here comes my ice. It's gonna go into the part of the container that was hot. Actually, we'll go do the big cube over here. And I'll take the little cubes and put them into the hot part just so it's easy to handle. And two little cubes into our shaking container. There we go. Ooh, hear that crackle. Ooh, listen to that. That doesn't make a sound. I mean, it kind of did. In any case. And now we're gonna shake it up. Only two ingredients in here, and that is the cranberry juice and the butterfly pea flower infused oolong tea, which I really do wanna taste, but it's still way too hot for me to try right now. So we'll wait on that a little bit longer. I'll taste it in a little bit. Anna, would you like to give it a try though? Yeah. All right. In the meantime, I will conduct the shakage procedure. So the shakage much? procedure is a procedure involving shakage. Do I just drink it? It's really whale on it. It's nice and blue. What do you think? Tastes like lighter green tea. Lighter green tea. So the oolong itself, depending on what kind of oolong, I, ha I think oolong has a nice, like, I don't know, it's more flavorful to me than green tea is. Not as bitter, but then again, I've never tried Bigelow oolong tea before. What is so, I don't know. This is Bigelow? Bigelow. It's Bigelow. Okay. A Bigelow, 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 Bigelow. I just thought that was funny to say. So now that I'm shaking it up, there might be a little bit of a color change in there. There's a little, the cranberry juice is red. The butterfly pea flower infused oolong tea is like an off blue. So we're gonna see what happens. Oof. So what I'll do is I'll take uh, my cocktail angle and we'll come over here and we'll grab ourselves a glass. Anna, which glass would you like me to serve this for you in? A glass. Okay, a glass it is then. We're gonna take this one. That one's ugly. I want a different one. Okay, that one is ugly. How about a different one? How about um, this nope. one? This is also very ugly. I don't think you're giving me a fair judgment on these. How about this one? It's got numbers. I don't like numbers. Okay, numbers are not <laughs> feasible to the Disney Queen either. This is fun. What goes with D&D? There we go. D dice? Yes. Dice goes well with D&D. <laughs> you're welcome, everyone. How to please your woman, 101. <laughs> Just, I don't know, keep trying. Keep trying. Correct. Keep trying. Oh, correct. Oh, thank you. On behalf of all women everywhere, you're welcome. <laughs> Apparently. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to give this a strain, pour it into the glass. We'll see what color it turns out first. Wow. It's purple. Oh, my goodness. It's purple. Who knew? It looks like my shirt. Oh, my goodness. It kind of looks like my shirt, too. No. Purple drinks. Purple drinks. I guess purple it is purple. Drinks. Purple drinks. So now what we have to do is we have to add the other half of it. So what we'll do is we're going to add a single ounce of grapefruit soda and then two ounces of the lemon, the uh, lemonade. <gasps> bubbly. It's grapefruit. It's that? bubbly. Why would you drink that before I put it? Oh my. Contaminated. Yes, completely contaminated. That's not too bad. All right. One single ounce of your grapefruit soda. In my case, I'm using bubbly. No significant color change, so it's probably not that acidic. However, lemon juice will be a different story. Two full ounces of the lemonade, if you please, my dear. This is going to spill everywhere. Well, I mean, that's okay. That's why we got the rubber on the table. It protects ourselves. Protect yourself. Put a rubber on your bar. And now pour! Ooh. Now it looks red. It combined, and it made a different color change. It's slight. I like how you go for the knife when there's a spoon right here. You used the knife to juice the, yellow, the, the lemon, did you? I figured it was all right. I also use that for the lemonade. Indeed. So this here is a mocktail called Fawn's Fancy, and it's not quite done yet. Anna, could you grab me another lemon? Why is there sugar in the, sp in the fruit container? Because it's sugary. I got a lemon. We're going to cut off a little lemon wheel. I'll we'll do so in the background back here. popcorn! Oh my gosh. There's still popcorn. Oh my goodness gracious. Single wheel. I'm going to take that up. Do a little lemon wheel. Pop that ever so slightly. I'm gonna pop it on. Pop that dun da da. Pop that dun da da. There's no turmeric this time. Oh yet. shoot, There's that's no where that came from. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful, beautiful cocktail? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna do that. There we go. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit. 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 Ain't she beautiful? Anna, put your face in that. Why? Because you're beautiful. Because then we'll take pictures of me. That's scary. Oh yes, the pictures are scary. No pictures. I like that picture. I'll Honestly, you... so one of the things that I've noticed is with the photo thing, I can't guarantee that this camera angle over here focuses in the right place. So I need to look into that apparently. I don't know whether or not these things are actually 
perfectly good or not. I like the way it looks, so I'm gonna take a photo of it with my own photo command. Photo. The toe. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think of that? Oh, actually, we gotta taste it first. That's the best part. We get to taste it. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Ready? Even better. All right, so this was Fawn's Fancy, and it contains cranberry juice, butterfly pea flower infused oolong tea, grapefruit soda, in this case it's bubbly, as well as some lemonade. Anna, how does it smell? How does it taste? What are your first impressions of it? Tastes like oolong. Tastes like oolong. Oolong tastes like what? If you had to put a, put some description to it. I, I described it earlier. It was like light green tea. Kind of light green tea. Nice, nice. Does it have any notes of fruit to it? Things like chocolate or cocoa, coffee. Is it dry? Is it sweet? Is it sour? How else could you describe that? It's like a sweeter tea. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like iced tea. Little iced tea? Yeah. Kind of like, are we talking like a brisk iced tea or more kind of like I took tea and I put ice into it? Like an in-between. Like there's too much sugar for it to be like regular mm -hmm. iced tea, but not enough sugar where it's brisk. Okay. That's fair. Let's see. So for me, the first thing I get is the smell of this lemon. So I'm just going to remove this for a hot second. The lemon I can really smell the cranberry. I can smell the cranberry and the grapefruit in there. It's a very, very, very fruity smell to it, mm -hmm. and of course the lemon as well. It still hasn't hasn't escaped me yet. Let's see. It tastes though. Mm. It is like somebody added a little bit of lemon to an iced tea. I didn't. Not taste quite the lemon. Not quite a brisk iced tea, but it is kind of close. It is very similar to the way that a brisk iced tea tastes, but like a different kind of sweetness to it, as opposed to like brisk tasting almost a little caramelly. This doesn't have any of those like, like sweet toffee caramel notes. None of that stuff that I get a little bit from the brisk. This See, is a lot I more I get fruity. the most flavor from the oolong, and I think it's because it sits in the back afterwards. Yeah, well, there's a dryness. I'm getting a lot of dryness, and I think mm -hmm. that is directly coming from the oolong tea, as well as the butterfly pea flower. I haven't had a lot of butterfly pea flower, but from what I have had, it is pretty dry. The other flavor components and stuff, I can't quite say that I'm super sure of, but I think it definitely mixes well with it. Butterfly pea flower and lemonade and lemon juice in general is a combination that appears like literally everywhere because the color changing thing is super cool. Oh my God, The oolong so though cool. is a nice, it's a nice angle. I kind of like that. I'm like out of popcorn. All things considered, if I had to add an alcohol to this, I put gin in there. Yeah. I think the gin goes perfectly with the butterfly pea flower. Honestly, adding a little bit of butterfly pea flower gin in there as well would be perfectly pretty, pretty What pretty if good. you just took out the butterfly pea flower gin and did the same drink again? There is no gin in here. Exactly, but oh. You mean take out the butterfly pea flower? Yeah, and just replace it with butterfly pea flower gin. I mean, you could do that. So what I would do is instead of making butterfly pea flower infused oolong tea with water, I would probably instead do butterfly pea flower oolong tea bags and tea into the gin itself. Is what I would do. Are you trying to look for the butterfly pea flower gin? Yes. It's hidden. Would you like me to get it for you? No. Okie dokie. No. Okay, okay. I'll give you a hint. It's near the gins. And while you do that, I will take this opportunity to do a little bit of cleanup over here. Ooh. Yo, R.H. Barber, the barber's in the house. Somebody called for a haircut. He's got that beautiful no, party hair too. Where, where did he get it from? How are you doing, sir? How are you? Welcome to the, welcome to the bar. Bar time, bar time, fun time. Do a little bit of cleanup. I got my got my dearest Anna over here. Oh, is that the hearty parrot that Brad's putting out there? That's a hidden email. I swap out, I swap out the parrots every once in a while. There's so many different parrots. Freaking love the party parrot. Drink one for me. Oh, buddy. Barber, I absolutely will. This one is called Fawn's Fancy. And this one was a mocktail, actually, for my dearest, because she's not a big alcoholic like I am. JK, LOL, or maybe. I got lost. I don't know where the gins are. Here, here, here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I found the gin. Oh, oh she found it. it. She's getting there. Gin here. This is very good. My goodness, I love this. Dude, look at all the party parrots. I love them. Look at the little dudes. Ah! This is exactly why we have the party parrot. Are you sure you put it back? This is the best time for me to tease that somewhere in the about me profile below, there is a link to the cult of the party parrot where there is literally hundreds of party parrots. You put that in your So about many. Me. It's in the about me. It's hidden down there. It's a hidden link. Find it. It's so cool. Oh my God. It's a thing. Or you can Google it, I guess, and spoil the funny spice. I can't find it. You can't find it? Here. There's a cult? Oh yeah, there's a cult. Not my cult. It's not my cult. Okay, would you? What, what would you like me to do? I need to do some cleanup, or I can find the gin for you. Can I ask you to do the cleanup while I find the gin? Where's the cleanup? Well, I mean, there's there's all this gunk so over I here. So I take it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'll Are put you these sure over. you put it back? 
I don't believe you. I found it. You didn't? Oh! Lies. <laughs> it's been sitting right next to me. You're a liar. No, I wouldn't say so. So I say you should try that drink again. <laughs> There's a Go cult. Away. There is. I don't know. I also work in tech. I know about party parrots and bufos. Oh, absolutely. Whoa, that's Dude, a Slack lot. is a thing. Look at all these beautiful freaking parrots. They're gonna. Eat. That's not epileptic safe. Yes. Yeah, so that's the thing, right? So Purple Day. I will take this as a means to mention. Purple Day was on Sunday. Pe Purple Day is a means to be able to raise awareness for epilepsy. Epilepsy also has a national month, and that's in the month of November. It is represented by the color purple, which is why we're all in our purple gear here. We're making, as best as we can, purple drinks, and in one case, attempted purple popcorn. And I will say, I did not necessarily think beforehand that the party parrots are a little ironic to that. So with that said, I am fully aware of this now, and I did not think of that earlier. So really, really, no fault can be had here. Oh my god. So I'm gonna take my butterfly pea flower. Actually, I'm gonna strain this out. This, not, this, this is probably really good tea, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in all of my glasses over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dude, all hail the party parrot. Bow down to the cult of the cult of the party, the cult of the party parrot. I'm just gonna pour out the rest of my pea flower gin tea. Very, very purple. This Kool-Aid tastes weird because it's not coming from the plastic container. There we go. I filled up for the most part, most of it. Wait, 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 wait. I'll hail and bow down. What do you, what do you think? Oh, the Kool-Aid. Oh. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm bringing it back now. What are you gonna do? Put it in my container. Put it in the container. All right, and it's gonna get some tea as well. Now here's the thing about most teas. You can take this stuff. You can just dry it out. There's so much more color that this butterfly pea flower is willing to give. And I'll just make some more tea later when I'm, when I'm working. It'll be great. Ooh, this chicha over here. Did I, you I touch mean, it? No, 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 I'm just kidding. There was no chicha over there. It was the time machine, remember? I remember. I remember. Again, so this most recent cocktail, despite the fact that it's a mocktail, actually, that's been hiding behind everything, is called Fallen's Fancy, and it comes from this book, Mystic Libations, which, as Anna astutely pointed out earlier, has, is a D&D based cocktail book, and it has maps in it, it's got magical items that. in it, it's got rule sets in it. It's an awesome book, and I would highly recommend any nerd like me to go up and pick it up. I also Not know one of the authors is one of the guys that helped invent a lot of the tiki drinks at Disney. Yeah, Trader, Trader, um... Todd. Todd? Trader, Todd? Todd? I thought it was Trader Brandon. There's Todd Oh, it's Trader Brandon. Sorry, it's Trader, Trader Brandon. Brandon. He yeah. has another Trader, book, I think. Trader Brandon. But I can't find his other book. book. Brandon, Brandon Clayla. Or Clela. I'm not exactly sure. Now, he's, he's how do dude. I get these, like, maps to be large-sized? Um, I would suppose photocopy them and bring them to your local print shop. That would be my guess, I think. That involves so much effort there. Bucket, here we go. Ah! Oh, I missed it. Stop It's because the bucket's the bucket. so far away, dude. Well, that's, that's what like, happens when the bucket's so far. So if I were to do one of these, uh, yeah, I missed it again. Okay, you. This, this is why. <laughs> this is why I have the bucket, so I don't throw things at heads in there. Oh no, I that's. Can try the other thing. Who who else but my dears to be brutally brutally honest on a live stream? It's okay. Honestly, all feedback should be given with brutal brutal honesty. If it's constructive, that's just a bonus. I don't know what else you threw. I threw a little half cup container. Oh, we're both all screen now. Huh? Oh, I have it. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Bucket. <laughs> it's an honor for the bucket. <laughs> Toss it in the bucket. It's an honor for the bucket. Bucket, 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 bucket. They don't seem that long either. Bucket. What do you mean that long? Like, for the campaigns, they seem like one-offs. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Honestly, I haven't read through the book. I have I have another, uh, we have some friends out there, um, and, and Annie and Lil Abe or also huge D and D folks, and so this is one of the one of the books that I'm gonna take over the next time I I go up and visit oh, because it's awesome. One of them is like more thrown together than the other ones, but one literally just has the opening and the closing. Mm -hmm. Another one has a couple uh, story beats, and then there's another one where no spoilers, dearest. You're just gonna have to buy the book and find out. Well, I'm not telling them the whole. Thing. Naturally, naturally, but no spoilers. Oh my goodness. So where have we been so far? We've been sitting around talking about pretty much. We have been spending online. two hours. How just long? About two hours. Two about hours. Two hours. Yeah, yeah. How many hours? For two hours. Time flies when you're having fun, you know, making love at the bar, or definitely not making love at all, just doing things lovely. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Keep walking this way. We've made so far, uh, it, I haven't even started it yet, which was a custom cocktail by Anna, uh, which included some vodka, mm -hmm. some some other stuff in it. There was Kool-Aid in there as well. She drank the Kool-Aid. I also drank the Kool-Aid, all things considered. Oh, this was your water. We've made some chicha morata. It was, it is, but it still is. I mean, we, we're basically the same person, so. No, we aren't. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> but so we took that. We also made some chicha morata, basically some purple corn inside of some boiling water. Uh, made it, make it the purple, make it the purple. Cool. And then we add a bunch of stuff to it, some cinnamon, some clove, and then uh, later on, some lime juice and stuff. Every single recipe, I haven't said it already, is going to be in the Discord server, as well Perp as in the description of the VOD that comes out exactly a week from now. And it's supposed so, to be purple. It's supposed to be purple. What's supposed to be purple? All of the recipes. Everything here is purple. Everything here is purple, except for the popcorn. The popcorn wound up coming out American. We also made popcorn. We just made popcorn. Yeah, and I kept we getting tried to make it stuck in this little thing, and I was like, wow, that's great. Hot. Awesome. No, not, not so hot. I think it was if you cool ever re re rewatch this, I, I swear there's me just going like this the whole time. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Like not a great. Decision. Can she lift you up? She can. She's a very strong person. Yeah, he weighs less than me. Do it. No, you don't have to. Unless that's okay. In any case, she actually I don't want to have to do that. I have to lift people for um, PT. Ooh, so I should try out this butterfly assistance. pea flower infused oolong because it's cooled down enough. Mm, that's earthy. I like that. That's a very earthy flavor. I'm not really getting that in the cocktail that we used in it. Mocktail. It's a mocktail. It's a mocktail. There's no alcohol in it. Have we even gone through a cocktail today? No. I mean, you made your... Oh, I, I made a cocktail. I'm not, never mind. I How mean, did the plan I mean, things? you took Kool-Aid and you added vodka. I bought it specifically so I could make it. purple. It's true. And then I was disappointed be because I should have spent the extra when dollar combine, and 25 cents to combine, buy the purple one. Red and blue together... As you did, we got well, purple. You, you just want like that much? You just get a little bit of this. The red, the, the purple is a lot more powerful than the red is in terms of the Kool Aids, you know? It's just how it is. The, the crossed, the story of the crossed Kool Aids. <laughs> back away from me. Okay, goodbye. Sin. Bye. And now we're back to Cameron with an X, starring just Cameron with the X, and now he's lonely. Just kidding. I have all you beautiful, beautiful people. Anyway, we're gonna take these Kool-Aids and put them up to the side. We're gonna make some alcohol, right? Now that the now that hubby's out, we can get real crazy over here. Hubby's what you call the man. Hubby's what I call the man? Yeah, it's short. Air now that hubby's out of the picture. What the hell? Let's make an alcoholic cocktail, Why shall we? Nice. If we'd like to. If we'd like to. Would we like to? Would you like to? Wait, you what like was to? the last one? What's the last one? It's called an ube colada. It has it has alcohol in it. It's like a Either it's like a pina wrong. colada. It's like a pina colada, except it uses purple yams. I don't have purple yams. I have purple potatoes. <laughs> That's gonna sound interesting. Okay. I think okay. this is this is what I think. Okay. I think what we'll do is one more small drink. Okay. Then we're gonna taste the chicha. Okay. And then we're gonna make the colada. We're gonna not be not here until three a.m. No. Okay. That's not gonna take until three a.m., dearest. It's ten oh, o'clock no. right now. You think it'll take five hours? Oh my god, I'm already like tiring out. It's past my bedtime. Are you tipsy already? Whoa! I had one alcohol. Had no drink. alcohol so far. I have had. It one. would be impressive if you were tipsy at this point. No, I'm just tired. <laughs> so we'll do a cocktail. We'll do a cocktail for the people who do the drinky drink out there, if you'd like to. The purple cocktail this time is inspired by something that I actually found over on the internet. So, Purple Haze is a wonderful song. I believe it's by Jimi Hendrix, perhaps? I love the song. And I had a cocktail recipe in my collection that I thought was called Purple Haze. And as I was scrolling through my recipe book, I could not find a cocktail named Purple Haze. So I, for some reason, could not, I was like, I could have sworn there was a drink called this. It's probably in one of my cocktail books elsewhere. So what I decided to do was go onto the internet and see, well, what do I want out of this cocktail? First of all, I want it purple. Second of all, I want to use some grapefruit juice because I had some extra grapefruit. No, 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 not grapefruit soda. I need what? grapefruit juice. Where do I find that? Well, I have a thing here, oh. and then I have a grapefruit over there. That's not an orange. So, I actually, this is what I did. I went to the internet, and I asked the machine. I went to ChatGPT, and I you said, can you give me some purple drinks? And one of the things that it gave me was combining elderflower liqueur, grapefruit juice, soda water, and that was it, together. And you put a little twist on there. And but But alas... We are smarter than the machine. I looked at that thing, which it called Purple Haze, as I requested it to, and I was like, mm mm mm, -mm. ChatGPT, that's not a purple drink. There is no purple in it. And so I went back to my keyboard, I said, do you know, 
machine. This isn't purple. And in a very, very cordial manner, it responded, I'm very sorry. You're absolutely right. Neither the elderflower liqueur, the grapefruit juice, or the soda water makes this purple. Here, you can make it purple by doing any number of these other things, either adding red cabbage juice or butterfly pea flour or uh, red carrot or ube and, well, I got some butterfly pea flour, and I really like butterfly pea flour gin, and this was a perfect opportunity to make some more. So that's what are we're we doing. Using Saint Germain? We are, we don't have Saint Saint Germain oh. or Saint Germain, but oh. we have regular elderflower, which is going to be over there. Oh, All hail our Chat GPT overlords! At some point in time, I really want to do just I, I plan absolutely nothing, like nothing gets planned, and I just do I just ask the I ask Chat GPT for stuff. One well, day we'll do it. Then you're gonna have to modify everything. And then we modify, see that we make it, we see if it tastes good, and then we modify it if we're wrong. What am I looking for? You're looking for elderflower liqueur, which is right back. Oh, here. you hit it all the way back there. Well, we don't use it very often, so. Well, that's a good point. Indeed, but... it doesn't come up very often. Elderflower liqueur. I was need that as well. It. Indeed. Well, that was, that was a very valid time. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for trying to help me out. You tried and failed, but that's okay. There's always room for learning. You suck. Let's continue. Only when you ask me to. We shall continue. You're absolutely right. So the first, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to shake this drink and we're going to pour it over ice. Shake it till chilled. Strain the mixture to a glass filled with ice. Top with a splash of soda water. We'll get some soda water a little bit later. And I think it actually would be nice to use a little bit of that grapefruit again? soda. We will use a shaker. We don't have to use that one. We can use the other one. I don't know. It will be the last time that we use the shaker. So I think what we're going to do is instead we're going to use the pink plaid shaker. Because this one we won't need to use any. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm gonna put it in the bucket. Awesome. I'll take the metal part too. Holla. Yes, I love loud noises. There is a glass piece in there. It's just a shingle shot glass. It'll be okay. So what we're going to need in our shaker container is exactly what I said it would be. First off, we're going to add two ounces of our gin infused with butterfly pea flour. This is my gin infused with butterfly pea flour. It's got a nice blue hue to it. What I need to do is I need to strain out all of my pea flour in there, but I haven't yet. This actually has been straining for about, I'm sorry, infusing for just about two hours. It's not, a, it's a, it's a nice blue color. Right now, if I keep it sitting for longer, it's going to turn even more purple, but all I want is blue right now. That's all I want for now. The addition of the grapefruit juice is going to change the hue up a little bit to make it purple. At least, that's my assumption. We'll see. So I'm going to need two full ounces of our butterfly pea flour infused gin. I don't mind if a little bit of the butterfly pea flour gets in there because we're going to wind up straining it out the other end, so it'll be okay. Two ounces, or about 60 milliliters, of your butterfly pea flour infused gin. In this case, the gin that I used is an undisclosed type of gin. It's just Faber Drinking Easy Gin. And it doesn't say whether it's a London Dry, American Dry, Old Tom, or whatever. I literally have no idea. So, that'll be okay. And uh, our next ingredient is a full ounce of our elderflower liqueur. They recommend, the machine recommends St. Germain. We've got bulls. Would you mind adding a single ounce or about 30 milliliters for me? If I can open it. You got it? Wait, do you need the grippies? I need a grippy. You got any grippies? A grippy. Oh, that hit your face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh Dude, these grapes get sticky. Grapefruits smell like tobacco to me. Am I the only one who thinks that? I hope so. I feel like I feel like it definitely it really does kind of smell like tobacco. This one smells like a bathroom. It, yeah, a lot of yeah, elderflowery. It's very it's very clean and detergenty. One full ounce of your elderflower liqueur, whichever one you choose, or about 30 milliliters into your shaking apparatus. The next thing we need is one ounce of fresh grapefruit juice, and for that, we're gonna have to juice the grapefruit. Using the stupid ass juicer, which I hate what? vehemently. Okay, then just get a new juicer. You nah, buy enough chill. things by itself anyway. Take your grapefruit, sacrifice it to whatever god or gods I'm that going you believe in. Go to the front for what thing? I'm gonna go put this thing back. Grapefruit. Beautiful grapefruit. While you do that, wait, no, you can't do that because there's glasses in the front. Oh shit! And I have a pro I have a process. You're breaking the process. No, this makes more sense to me. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put it right over. Anna's doing a beautiful thing by helping me put put things away. I, mean, I love her for that. I'd like to take better. I'd like to take a moment to say how much I love this woman. We've been dating for almost ten years now. It's incredible. Awesome. We actually literally just went to the church the other day to get the, the details planned for our wedding in like less than a year. Isn't that crazy? Awesome. Can you believe that you're marrying this dipshit? You're not a Cameron dipshit. says to himself. All the time. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I'm queezing a lot of the grapefruit juice out, and so I will continue with that. What happens if you have extra grapefruit juice? Do you just throw it away? What, the, the grapefruit juice? No, you preserve it. That's why I bought all those extra containers. Oh. Yeah. Don't those things just go bad anyways? What, the grapefruit? No, like those containers. You go through so many containers. No, they don't go bad. Oh, this bad. This one looks bad. And then you dump them all out downstairs. Well, yeah, eventually. Why do you ship Anna and dipshit? I ship Anna and dipshit. It's the dipship ship. Oh my god. And this ship never sinks because it's filled with shit. And as opposed to that, dipping is buoyancy. Part of that definitely made sense somewhere, right? No? At least I tried. We were shipped for like, I think a good half a year before we started dating. Well, but that's a story for the choir room. So, I've juiced the grapefruit. Okay. Now we need a single ounce of the fresh grapefruit juice. For about 30 milliliters. I will take my citrus wheels, as well as the lemon rinds and the lime rinds from before, and I'm actually gonna try to see if I can do something good with them. I saw a TikTok the other day of how to make lemonade. Um, I think it was preserved, preserved like lemon, lemon something preserves, really? and something else. We just need a full ounce. Yeah, you got it. Cool. Um, out of your lemon rinds and stuff. And I'm gonna see how that works out, because I'm always trying to look for ways to like, cause, cause composting and recycling and stuff is just not easy here in Philadelphia, so I'm trying to figure out the best ways to be able to use all the leftover ingredients, cause I know you can. And slowly but surely, I'm learning a thing or two each time. Yeah, he made, what was the... Tapache? Tapache. Yeah, so uh, Glenn and I, Lycos, Laura and I, about two or three weeks ago when we made some mocktails, cut up a pineapple named Cody. Rest in peace, Why Cody. Why do you name them all? I like to name things because then it makes it feel even better when I kill them. My carnal desires must be satisfied. In any case, so we I sacrificed Cody, you. and I took all the skin of Cody, and I put it into some water and added some brown sugar and stuff like that to create a drink called Tapache. Realized it smelled a little bit like formaldehyde, but it kept pretty well for a week, and it didn't kill anybody. And then I went to the store yesterday and bought some Tapache in a can. They tasted nothing. You just like picked up a knife, went like this with it multiple times. I, and I, fidget, I fidgeted with it. I fidget sometimes. I thought you were like going to cut something. No, there is nothing worth cutting over here. We have our grapefruit juice. We're going to take the extra of it and we're just going to put it off to the side. I'm going to put the knife back over here. I thought you were going to stab me. No, dearest, I'm not going to stab you. Like oh. What's next? What else do we need? In addition, that's it. We have our gin fused, gin, wow, gin infused with butterfly pea flower, our elderflower liqueur, our grapefruit juice, and now we give it a ice. shake. We need some ice. Unless it's a dry Ooh, shake. Uh, no, no dry shaking here. In this case. Let me take. We big the killing comment. Dipshit has evolved into bad shit. <laughs> what did I do? You're... Where's my grip? Oh, oh there you it's go. on top. Oh, no, no, it's on the back. Oh. Who's evolved into one now? Is it a, am I a Pokemon? Do you, you are, yes. Am I evolved? Wait, what am I evolved into? That shit. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Ice. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. What's next? Tres. Yes, you got it! Actually, hold on a second, don't do that just yet. Please open it back up. That cube is so big, I need to break that up a little bit. I Wait, I need to, I need to, damn it, I don't know how to do this, wait a minute. I already put the ice in there. Observe. Oh no! It's good, it's okay, it's fine. All right, it's fine, you're good to go. I swear, half this stream is just me looking at you funny. That's some great photo ops, if I do say so myself. It's really, really good. Why does this not want to sink in? Uh, with the with the killing comment, dips. Dips has evolved. In, oh, I got that. <laughs> oh, is this thing too. on oh, upside you. down? Please don't hurt yourself. What's up? Is it on upside down? No, no. what are you talking about? Because no, you good. Watch, watch. It yes. comes up. Yes, I'm aware. So you have to hold it shut for the vacuum to form. And once the vacuum forms, you're good. <laughs> I'm fair bit to breathe when I do this. That's okay, you gotta breathe. It's a breathing technique. It's what we mixologists call mixological meditation. Now continue shaking and conduct the session with me. Oh, I'm done. No. Oh, I got too cold. It won't like open now. You have to open it up from the top. Would you like me to get you the gritty? Alcohol, you have to breathe. Yes, I'm very professional. 
Is it cold? I will get for you the grippy. No. Why not camera for just a moment? I feel weak now. No, I got it. See? Oh, she got it. We don't need it anymore. Goodbye. What drink container are you putting this in? I don't know. What do you want to put it in? There's absolutely no mention for what this thing is supposed to go in. <sighs> But we do need to put it into a glass filled with- Oh, we're gonna reuse containers? Alright, we can do that if Why you not? want to. Would you like to? I mean, that means less dishes for me, so... I mean, I'm you. the one who do the dishes, so... I do appreciate your help, though. We're gonna put that in with a bit of ice, as the machine has told us to put it in a glass filled with ice. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. It's been a really, really messed up Cinco. week. Seis. That's it. Now put- wait, 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 wait! Oh! I was like, what did I break? There's a process flow. I there don't do a, the process flow! process flow. Too much work. It's beautiful. Look at Too this much. beautiful drink. Beautiful libation. There we go. Ooh. Observe. What color is it? Put your votes in now. It's too late! It's purple! purple. That does look- Yeah! <laughs> it's a beautiful purple drink! It actually worked. I think that's the only purple drink you've that had. That is the. Uh, so, actually, actually, this reminds me of the game we play. Purple Car? Have y'all ever uh, played Purple Car? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, we invented this. So, we invented a game called Purple Car, just like Yellow Car, where you gain points, except when you find an indisputably purple car, you win. There's a new exception to the rule because I think- Purple Jeeps don't count. Yeah, They're so I've, been, I've seen so many purple Jeeps now and that is the way I win all the time. And it's like, mm. so now we don't include purple uh, purple Jeeps just mm -hmm. because like, you know, it's, it's too easy. So if you call it out, you lose. Purple Jeeps are way too easy. But if you find something that is unmistakably purple and I think purple drink, I think I win because that is an unmistakably is purple game. drink. It's a game. It's not a game. You wanna play? Love's a game, you wanna play? No. Oh no, is it gonna go forever? Am I gonna go down and play? I'm thinking it's over. This one looks like red now. Yeah, in comparison, this drink over here looks straight up like pink or red compared to the purple. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all, there are so many different ways to purple. Look at all these ways to purple. So many different ways to purple. Look at that. And we got the chicha in the background. Oh my God, it's great. Well, I guess it's not really in the background. In any case, in any case, in any case. Control numpad five, please, if you will. So this is a drink that was co-authored by the machine uh, with a little bit of modification did it give you from moi. Proportions? Or I specifically you... asked it for proportions. It did not give me proportions at first. And actually, one of the cool things about that is one when you when I go to most restaurants, if I order something off the menu from the bar, for the most part, they don't tell you what proportions everything's mixed in. It makes it difficult for me to mix it. And usually as the mixologist, you kind of have to figure that out. But you don't necessarily have to. Also, you do I completely like forgot to, to update the thing. Oh, you're supposed to fix that. The difference is definitely a California dime. And it's time for me to quit it. <laughs> Get it? It smells like a bathroom. Let me <laughs> update my board. I'm not very good at updating my board. I'm sorry, guys. It tastes like the bathroom. It tastes like the bathroom? You know, the, your orange stuff- you can, I, can I ask what part of the bathroom it smells like? Would you like to be more specific, like the toilet or the sink, the shower, the tiny little trash can that we just bought? Does it smell like that, dear? Does it smell no. like all of my used wipes? Is that what it smells like, dear? It's like your, um, oh, yeah? your body wash. Go, oh, my body wash, which is orange blossom and uh, tea or something? Yeah, no, that's it. That's all it tastes like. It tastes like my the thing that I shower with, my shampoo, my body wash. To me, it smells like elderflower, because I know what elderflower taste smells like. Actually, oh, you put it away already. What did I put away? The elderflower liqueur. Oh, should I go it grab it? It smells like elderflower. There's no other smell here. Oh, you know what I need to do? I just remembered. I gotta, I gotta garnish it. I need another. Where's my other grapefruit? Oh, here we go. What did you do with the lemons? We used up all the lemons. There's no, more here. but we There's cut more. them in half. What did you do with yeah, them? I put them? I put them away. Put them where? I put them into a small container that I'm using to preserve all the citrus. Oh. Yeah, it's off, it's off camera. I had almost forgotten. You need to put a little orange twist on top of it. That's an orange? That's not a grapefruit? I'm sorry, it's a grapefruit. You, you, know, you know what it's all about. I was gonna have to take a little, just a small little thing. Nope, that was terrible. Let's do it again. There we go. That's like fine. Now, 
a boop. I like that. I'm just gonna fold that in half. Just like pop it in there. There we go. I don't. That's kind of that. cute. I'm not the best with garnishes yet, dear. Oh, you put both halves in it. You know, it's cute. I like it. That's a beautiful. It has bunny color. ears. So now it smells like grapefruit. <laughs> Confirmed. Now it smells like grapefruit. Put the grapefruit in the thingy. There we go. Does it taste the? Like the bathroom. It mostly just tastes like that elderflower. It's the elderflower, but I'm also getting the grapefruit in there just a little, just a little bit. The other part too that I just remembered is you're supposed to top it with club soda. However, the proportions as they were given to us fills up most of the glass. So now that we've tried it, we'll add the rest of the bubbly to it. Make it a little more effervescent. That's how we top it. I needed to drink a little bit of it first. That's better now. It's a little more diluted. I like that. It's still very, very the bitter the bitter grapefruit and the elderflower. The sweet elderflower in this case. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like it. That's okay. I think it's kind of interesting. It is definitely too heavy on the elderflower. I would say for the most part. Well, actually, actually, you know what's you know the other piece in there? I just remembered. There was a dryness coming from the butterfly pea flower. I thought that was coming from grapefruit, but it's definitely coming from the butterfly pea flower. Also, there's a there's a bitterness that I also thought might have been grapefruit, but I just remember we got two full ounces of gin in there. And I know you don't like gin either, so that might actually mm -hmm. be a contributing factor here. See, I thought it was the, the fact that it smells like the bathroom. No, it might be the gin. Could be the bathroom. Or the gin. Or the butterfly. Or the pea. Or the pea in the bathroom coming from a butterfly with gin in the bath water. Bath water gin. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I also don't like that bubbly, so. That's okay, you didn't gotta you like know, it. You gotta like the bubbly. The bubbly doesn't have to like you either, I guess. Mm. All right. So what else have we made? We made a purple haze with oh, help from the internet. Hate you. Oh, <laughs> does say hate you. Hey. To you. switch the angle real quick, I gotta show the folks this. Huh. This little, this little can says, "Hey you, hey you." Isn't that cute? Hey you. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of funny. All right, we had purple haze. It's it's purple, and if you drink enough of that, you'll see the haze. Now, if you were to modify that to make it different proportions, would you? Or do you think that's good as it is? I think that's a that's a fine cocktail on its own. Okay. I think for the most part, I don't think it's much to your flavor palette, but for mm -hmm. somebody who likes the elderflower with the a bit of sourness that isn't coming from in this case, like I don't, I think this would taste different if you did lime juice. It would definitely be different. Almost, I think it'd probably be too sour if you use lemon juice. Um, I'm actually one of the things that I am kind of surprised about is that so lemon juice I think is I, I might be more acidic than grapefruit juice, but the fact that this doesn't have as deep a color change as this other drink makes me think that the acidity level of the grapefruit specifically is used as a means to make sure that this stays more purple as opposed to more red. I might be wrong about that, but I think if aesthetically it's very pleasing and it definitely gets the job done. It definitely looks more purple. It's very, very purple. We'll definitely say that. In any case, so that is the end of Purple Haze. We've done Purple Haze so far. We've done, oh my God, Chicha. It's Chicha time. Oh, we've had our chicha morata, which we made in the very, very beginning of the stream, the stream so far, and it's been sitting in, it's been sitting to just kind of get used to itself. We've had some lime juice in there. We got some green apples kind of sitting in there. They've turned some colors. It's a chicha time. It totally is chicha time. And I, I love you. I'm going to switch the board out and walk away with that awkward comment. Oh, I was already here. I didn't even write purple haze up there. Isn't this, isn't this cool? I'm really, ooh, man. <laughs> Chicha. You forgot the part to E. Chicha. There's no E. What? There's no E in Chicha. Isn't Chicha C H E? C H E. No, that's Chicha. 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 C H I. What the heck did you do to the Murata? Um, I tried to draw an A, but I almost did it lowercase, and so I I, I, I made it, I did a, the, your, your thing's blocking my, my goo. Oh. Things blocking my goo. Confusing. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's a chicha time. It's a chicha time. I will also say as well, 
This is all in honor of Purple Day, which happened on Sunday, to raise awareness for epilepsy. And so, I think at the very least, we've raised awareness for epilepsy a little bit. Even in such an ironic fashion. Yeah, this also, I'm, get... I'm also slightly afraid that this stream is going to go down as a very, very oddly ironic and not very empathetic way of referring to epilepsy awareness, but... We're so far into it now that we're just going to continue for it. There's a couple of exclamation points uh, commands that are around here for inf more information. There's also a pinned comment at the top for somebody who can do it much better than I can. So, and the associated links are wonderful. A little bit of info there. Epilepsy is an often misunderstood neurological disorder that causes recurring or unprovoked seizures. For more info on it, look at the epilepsy How did your chat box figure that out? How did the chat box figure it out? Because I programmed it. Did you, do, do you say something and it goes on? Exclamation point info for that one. There's exclamation point info. There's also N-E-A-H, which stands for National Epilepsy Awareness Month. It's an M at the end. Um, and there's also a couple other ones as well. They're all in the title. They're all in the title of the screen. It's down, it's down there somewhere. I can't read for the people who are live. For the people who are on the VOD later, sorry, you missed it. You could just put it in the drop comments. Drop a follow on, drop, drop a follow on Twitch later. Yeah, I'll put, put the links in the comments as well. Absolutely. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going back to the Chicha Murata now that it's been sitting for a while and kind of sangriifying itself. We're going to see how that goes. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So, we'll do a little bit of uh, grout, uh, housework over here. I'll clean some things up just a tad. I will not fall asleep. Anna does not plan on falling asleep, I however. I've like five times now. That's okay. Do you, if you'd like a break, you're, more than, you're totally welcome to take a break. You do no, not have to. No, it's past my bedtime, and that's where I'm just sitting. 10 o'clock, baby. Yeah. I'll put the bubbly back over there. Ironically, doesn't go to bed at 10 o'clock, just gets really tired at Let 10 o'clock. And then once you hit like 11.30-ish, super wired, can't fall asleep. Just a couple of coasters. We'll do this one and this one. There we go. Now, would you like a glass of tea, chicha? I'm just gonna steal from your glass. That's fine, absolutely. I'm gonna pour myself a big heaping glass of chicha. What? I'm a little Collins glass over here. You could pour this over ice if you'd like to, if this stuff That's is- That's a Collins glass? I always thought that it's was like a equivalent. milk glass. I mean, it can- Cause fair. like people this would is... always just put milk in it at the diner. I mean, you can put milk in Collins's in any- I'm just associated with that's a milk glass. All right, milk glass. We're gonna put it in a milk glass cause this chicha is the milk of my soul. You don't necessarily have to separate the solids from the liquids, kind of like what I'm trying to do here. I'm really not doing a very good job of that. Here we go. We have a lot of this. What are we going to do with it? Drink it, silly. We're going to drink it. It's not alcoholic, and if it tastes good, then, well, I will drink more of it. I'm going to grab a little straw for myself, because it feels right. They got a purple straw over here somewhere? I got a rainbow straw. How do the apples taste? Well, I want to try one of them, too. These Rock apples, Kobe. these apples. Oh, ooh, angle, angle real quick. Angle me, dude. Mm -hmm. They are so red. They've been completely dyed red. By no, I'll take a bite in chicha. it and then show it. It's no longer red. They've like cinnamon appleified. Mm -hmm. That's good. Switch back, please. Thank you. It kind of tastes like a cinnamon apple. They look good. They they taste really good. I'm gonna it kind of eating all these apples. It really does taste like cinnamon apple or apple cinnamon, mm -hmm. because the chicha itself was made by taking cinnamon sticks and some clove and combining it with the purple color and stuff and the sugar. Is that the more bitter cinnamon you have? Mm -hmm. So this is specifically salon cinnamon, which is just a, it's a fundamentally different type of cinnamon flavor than the stuff that you get in like the pre the pre ground stuff it's good it's it's well worth it if you're trying to get cinnamon sticks i mean so, i mean it depends right salon cinnamon sticks taste slightly different well, than the other ones those other cinnamon sticks i don't somewhere? i don't believe so i thought you did i could be wrong i could be wrong wait cameron i found your sugar yeah that's such a tiny container dude oh my god oh i gotta need more sugar from that so the chicha now Continues to smell like cinnamon. It smells very, very powerfully of cinnamon, and it's got a little bit of a sweet note to it. Almost kind of like sugar water. It's good, though. Why do you have ginger up here? Mmm. That's really good. So as of now, what we added to the chicha... Essentially, chicha is made up of infused water from purple corn, some cinnamon, some clove, some sugar, some lime juice, 
and some minced up pieces of fruit like green apple or pear or yellow apple or other fruits in general and immediately when we put the lime juice into it it should be key lime but this is all we had access to just regular limes it was a lot more sour but now that it's had a chance to sit around for a little bit it's actually really sweet it's it's not even it's it's like it's tart but it's not even like tastes like tart. a sweet cinnamon yeah i agree with that it's like a sweet cinnamony beverage it's very very tasty i really like the way that this tastes i i'm happily gonna drink at least a cup of this tomorrow oh that is such a beautiful piece of apple oh my goodness <laughs> I'm gonna eat Please it. put that up to the no, angle. No, it's, it's fine. It's so good. Look at the it's angle. Fine. Oh my it's god, fine. look at this. I'm gonna chase it. Oh man, it's so cool. Oh, turn it. Give us a little side view. Oh, it's so cool looking. Oh, I love it looks that. Looks like it's bloodied. It's like a bloody piece of my heart that's been filleted off. Microphone. Mm -hmm. That's so good. Oh wait, wait, wait. Photo with the thingy. Ah, we missed it. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Here, let me take a photo. Let me let me get this for you. This beautiful heart. You want to pose with it? No. Mm. That's okay. I think my phone takes better photos too. Anyways, that's good though. Ooh, it's so good. Here, it's it's coming up in a hot second. There we go. That's a cool looking apple, and it tastes it tastes good too. I was just gonna eat the apples. Now that the, the other thing is too, so it's cool because. The chicha itself, the liquid, has taken on the cinnamon flavor, it's taken on the apple flavor, and it's taken on the extra sourness from the lime juice. The apples, on the other hand, had taken on the cinnamon flavor of the liquid, and it become very... I mean, even for a Granny Smith apple, it's almost... It, it's not that sour, I don't think. It's really well, the outer apple. layer is, like, more of that cinnamon thing, whereas once you get in, where it's, like, less... It's back to the, back to the it, sour it, parts. It's, yeah. There's a there's a really really nice spice going on with this. This is this is wonderful. I feel like right now we're drinking this like lukewarmish right now. This would go excellent with like either iced or warm. This this reminds me so much. I feel like you could make like a mulled wine variant. This is very mulled yep. wine. -y. Yeah, it kind of does. It's got those mulled wine like holiday spices to it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have any alcohol in it right now. At least you could probably bring up the AV ABV a little bit, but this is really, really tasty. So you take this, and then how do you make mold wine? Is that just wine with wine spices? plus baking spices and stuff? Clove, cinnamon, otherwise. So you just whatever. add a little bit of mold, like wine, and make it mold. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, is that I how that like, works? Well, I feel like what would happen is if you added wine to this, you're gonna over, you're gonna kind of overdo the taste. You're gonna, you're gonna like kind of take out the chicha mechanics of it, aside from like the cinnamoniness in there. Uh, I mean, it just definitely depends on what kind of wine you use, right? If you added like like a dry red wine, this is gonna become a lot more dry than it already is. It is a little bit dry now because I think the corn itself imparts a dryness because of the corn kernels itself. There's a bunch of things you. I mean, naturally, you could take this, add a little bit of wine to it, and call it a cocktail. Chicha Murata Vino. Chicha. Vino, Vino Chicha Murata, if you wanted to. And Chicha. for all I know, but the so Chicha Murata, at least from my own research, has come from Peru, and I'm sure the people of Peru have something to say about it. Totally out of chance, if you happen to be from Peru and are familiar with Chicha Murata, do you, can you put wine in it? Can you do other things to it? What is your favorite way of making Chicha Murata? I'm seriously curious about it. It's about broadening our horizons. And this, my horizons must be broadened. Would you, would you like this over here? No. Oh, okay. It's always an offer. In any case, that's how. It, that's the full step process of making this chicha murata, and it did take a little bit while to do, but <clears throat> excuse me, that is delightful. It's like sweet. It, it's it's like sweetened, sweetened cinnamon beverage. It's really good. Oof. Two and a half hours, dude. One more cocktail. You down for it? Are you are you up I'm for it? I'm tired. So. Okay. <laughs> Would Sorry. you like to continue participating? You're more than welcome not to. It's to totally cool. Totally cool. This is my guest star now. It is. So we're just going to deal with the fact that I'm yawning. <laughs> Absolutely. No, we shall move on. We continue on. Rich says it's almost sangria. Might as well get some wine in there. Exactly, right? Throw, throw a little, throw a little like a... I was trying to say wine, and I almost said Chardonnay. Well, you could just make this wine, the kid right? version. I mean, you can even add white wine to this, too, and it wouldn't change the color. It would still look red. Any wine you want. Add some, like, port and sherry in there. Jack up the alcohol content considerably. I like mead. Would that work? You could probably mead in this, too. Uh, that would add a honey component to it, a fermented honey. I feel like this would go well with honey. It would, actually. <laughs> this would definitely go well with honey, now that I think about it. We have some honey if you want to try it. That's okay. 
So the next cocktail and final cocktail that we have this evening takes advantage of something in particular. I'm pulling up the recipe now. It is called the Ube Colada. I got my recipe from the educated bar fly. And to create an Ube Colada, you need Ube. What is Ube? Well, I'll write it on the board first and then I'll go into the details. Although, sort of, kind of not. Because technically we don't have Ube. We are going to need some of that. Would you mind also pulling out the purple potatoes? Purple potatoes. Purple potatoes. There's purple potatoes in there. For those who are keen, I'm about to correct myself in a little bit. How many purple potatoes? Um, there should be two in there. You can add both of them, please, for the sake of. This one is not skin. Yep, it's true. Is the other one not skin? We'll get there. Oh, put that potato against my face, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I thank you. Oh my God, thank you so. Yep, thank you. So, I'm gonna take a bite of that potato if you're not careful. I'll do it. I'm not. No, no, I, I can't. It's it's somebody has to say consumption. My God, potato on my face. It's very purple on the inside. So raw potato tastes. Really ube. This is, is a, better than like regular raw potato. Is a purple yes because it's technically a sweet potato. I think. I don't like sweet potatoes. Ube is a purple yam. You should take a bite too. Okay, I will in just a moment. I'm explaining the ube. <laughs> ube is a purple yam. I don't have a it's purple a yam here. I don't know, dude. Alexa, is it safe to eat raw purple potatoes? It's not answering your question. Purple potato. Raw is not an edible food. Always contact a healthcare professional with specific concerns about allergies or dietary. Maybe I shouldn't eat this. Also, I love how Rich found the potato command. I did implement the potato command. Is it here's a potato command? Here's a spud, bud. It's funny. I think it's funny. It's very funny. Photo and potato. Yeah. So, ube is a purple yam. I was not able to find purple yams in my store. Long story short. So, I found purple potatoes, which can be a good stand in for purple yams. Both of them are starchy, starchy things. They taste things. better than other raw potatoes. Apparently, they do. Let's take a, take a check and find out. So actually, this is this is for illustrative purposes here. So your purple potatoes on the outside will look something like this. Why do you have that this heap huge. of number? This is, oh, please get out of the way, Chicha. This is a purple potato. On the outside, it has been washed down. It still looks dirty because it is. On the inside, the purple potato is going to look something like, oh, watch, wait. Oh, you don't full screen yourself eating it? It is. Well, I mean, no. On the inside, it's going to have this purple color to it. I skinned this one earlier, so it's kind of oxidized a little bit. So it doesn't have the bright purple color as it did earlier. However, this one has yet to be skinned. Dearest. I have to skin it? Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. How much of this are we using? I'm going to skin all of it and then make potato chips or something. Hold on, let me get this at a nice angle. So, are we making potato chips? Are they? We could just make potato tomorrow. This is the purple color that lies within. The beautiful purple color that lies within. Ooh. And the more I feel that, ah. the more that beautiful purple color forms. Ooh, Ooh purple potatoes. Ooh. That ah. versus this. Beautiful purple potato. Ooh. Here is the spud bud. This is the <laughs> ooh ah. It's true. Ah. The ooh ah, the, the spuddy, spuddy potato. Ooh ah, ooh ah, ooh ah ah. Ooh ah, ooh ah ah. Ting ting, wala bang. Wala bing bang. Anna, would you mind bringing the bucket over? Blah, 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 blah. The bucket, please. Don't I have to throw these out? The bucket. Goes in the bucket. They go in the bucket? In the bucket. Why in the bucket? What are they going to do in the bucket? I'm going to clean out the bucket later. It's an honor for the bucket. It wants to eat some potatoes. Why don't I just throw them out? If you'd like to, you're more than welcome to. There are many different ways. There are many different ways to play. So what we're gonna do? That doesn't even leave a bad taste in my mouth. That's really concerning. It's nice. I mean, it has a potatoy taste because it is a potato. But it doesn't taste like regular potato. Well, it kind of tastes like potato. I've had regular. It tastes potato. like sweet potato to me. Mm, I don't like sweet potato though. But like this tastes like sweet potato. Maybe I should try sweet potato again. Maybe we should. Maybe we should try this sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato. I love how when I hold it up here, it puts a <laughs> puts a potato shaped shadow on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my goodness. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this potato and we're going to use it as the solid base for our... You know this isn't a yam. Colada. Because it was labeled purple potato at the store. It's not a yam. <laughs> you mean that's not corn? This is not corn, actually. Dang it. it is I not thought it was corn. a banana. No, well, you would uh, you would be you could call it a banana, but you would be mistaken for doing so. Oh, that's Far so off. disappointing. K. There goes my kiwis. Potassium. Mm. I am so confused now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so what you need to do is in a blender, you're gonna add the following things together. Some rum, some coconut water, some purple hay, pur some purple yam jam. Do we use I don't have purple jam. That's, no, that's Caribbean liqueur, actually. It's oh. coconut liqueur. Not, it's not, it, it is rum, Caribbean rum based, but it tastes like coconut. We're also gonna need pineapple juice and coconut milk as well. And we're gonna blend everything together. Again, this calls for purple yam jam, which is a really fun thing to say. I do not have purple yam jam, nor do I have purple yam. I got purple potato. Oh, not purple is... potato jam, just purple potato. We got a blender, we're gonna cut it up into little bits, and hopefully everything's gonna be okay. Here? Why is the whiskey over there? Yeah, what does these it say? are whiskey? all the whiskeys. What do you mean the whiskeys? That's a whiskey. This is not a whiskey. That's a whiskey. No, this, this is... is blackberry whiskey liqueur. No, it's his flavored whiskey. It's blackberry. I am reading this. Anna's criticizing the order of my no, it says bottles. It's whiskey. This is Bird Dog Blackberry flavored whiskey. This can be functioned as a blackberry liqueur. It is blackberry flavored. So I have never tried it actually. I bought Why it for would five dollars. Why there? Because it's blackberry. This is the fruit section. That's a fruit section. All right. Well, at some point, we're gonna have to take a tour of the back behind my bar because apparently it is something up for debate. So, Anna, so we are gonna need the blender. Those... We're gonna need the blender. Oh, I got you. We're gonna need the blender. We're gonna blend things together. Blender. Blender. I hardly know her. That's the only time I'm making that joke this stream. Okay, okay. Then this is not... This is no Chino area. That That is the spice and botanical area that does not include gin. We need rum, so I'm gonna go down and grab the rum. Where is rum? So... I'm the rum that is suggested here is a Don Papa. I don't rem I don't know what kind I of rum. I found my pralines! I forgot about that! We also have nut liqueurs down there. Praline is a pecan. Don Papa rum. Rum. Looks like it's a dark rum. And... I'm trying to think. It's a premium age small batch rum, the spirit of Negros Occidente, oh, a wondrous drinking. place known colloquially as Sugarlandia or Sugarland. Light and fruity on the nose, smooth and delicate with a long textured finish. Very vanilla flavor rum. Light and fruity. I'm trying to think of a, flavors of vanilla, honey, and candied fruits. So I'm trying to think of the rum in my collection that would do so that. So if the I best. put this pralines in this water bottle and then shake it, is it still shaken? In the water bottle and shake it? Yeah, it, it imparts air into it, so absolutely. Cool. I'm gonna have some shaken water bottled. Go for it, dude. We bought water bottles because there was like this emergency in Philly for like forever. Oh yes. For so, so for those who were not aware, there was we get we were getting warnings throughout this week that so there was a chemical spill on the Delaware and that we wouldn't have clean drinking water this week. So everybody bought out all the water from the store. So I went on including Amazon. the coconut water. So we ordered some water from Amazon and it worked and it shipped to us and it was great. Oh, well, someone stole my Propel. We also got some Propel water, and they stole it Because it was cheaper us. than regular water, yeah. sadly. I'm going to use the Myers. That's the closest thing I got. I don't really have a good I'm I'm not putting that rum selection back here. Anna really likes a shaken Evangeline's rum. No. Uh, Ev Evangeline's liqueur. I like pralines. Evangeline's, Evangeline's praline liqueur. Evangeline's praline liqueur. Original. Evangeline. 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 Southerly. Delicious. Read between the Evangelines. Get this it? This one has a high alcohol content. It does. It does. Relatively speaking, not as high as Everclear, though. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. That's on purpose. We need to an ounce of purple jam yam. We don't need a lot of purple jam, purple yam in here, or purple potato. So purple we're not gonna use yam. too much of it. So we're gonna add to our thing. A collection of ingredients as Anna shake thing, shakes things in the background and stares at me as she has been doing because I'm just so damn good looking. Are you having uh, issues there? I, w I mean, I was having a little bit of an issue, but I did manage to get things together, all things considered. This is not as sweet as I remember. I don't think we need to peel any more of these potatoes. I'm gonna take this potato and put it back into the cooler. There we go. I don't know if I'm in the mood for this. That's okay. I mean, you don't have to have it. We can put it in the bucket. The bucket loves this kind of stuff. No. Okie dokie. You can only get this in the south. I'm going to add two ounces of my rum to this blender here, and then I'm going to turn it on high just to feel something. Okay, we'll and then we're going to make the rest of the cocktail. Fix my posture? What's wrong with my posture? That's because it's a bit, dude. No. Two ounces, about 60 milliliters of, if you have a Don Papa rum, go for it. I'm going to use a Myers because I feel like that's the most vanilla and like caramel that I'm going to get. Because that was the flavor profile of Don Papa that I was able to find. Oh, so I forgot. I need, a one, I need an ice. You need an ice? Yeah. It's not going to fit in that glass. It will you totally can try. fit because I'm going to make I'll it fit. Talking. Give me the, the I want, no. No? Oh. What would you like? Rick? The candy cane ice. Candy cane? That's, that's what I meant. Peppermint. That's not a peppermint. That's Here a candy. Here you go. 
It smells like the brush that goes in the absolute liquid. Look, it went in. The next liquid ingredient that we're going to need is an ounce of coconut water. No, 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 no. You are part of this show. I am you are distracted. You are distracted. show. Which is okay. I am. This is where I'm at, guys. Essentially, I've been there's like the past three, I think it, four days. I think of it this way: there's kind of like two shows going on here. There's the Anna <laughs> side of the like show and then the Cameron Anna. side of the show. It's like it's it's great. I meant to support him throughout this, but this Again, is my break, and this is where my brain. Completely is. ironically, there is a lot going on right now. I think it's just going on in my brain, but I can't tell anymore. That's okay. The it line got stuck. Line I'll do that to you. Ah! Pop it. It's not working. It is kind of stuck in there. In the meantime, an ounce of coconut water. It's so disappointing. I got, I got Vita Coco. Coconut Living water. Vita. Oh wait, that one worked. Look at La Vita Coca. It smells so funny. Chill it, don't spill it. Oh, I'm supposed to chill this? Well, I mean, I guess it was chilled for a while. Did you take this out of the, when did you take this out of the freezer? Or the, the, the thing? The freezer? Uh, it was the, um, what do you call it? Cooler. Was this in the cooler or was it sitting on top of it? It was in the cooler. It was in the cooler. All right, good to know. Okay, I remembered how I like this. There has to be ice. An ounce of your coconut water. Mine's Vita Coca. I have to go back to shaking it. You can if you like. Nice. Now I get rid of this. Next, we're going to need an ounce of our equivalent Ube Halaya Purple Yam Jam. Why does your freezer look like it's in, it's in the Arctic? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. There's so much ice buildup. I do not have purple yam jam. I do have purple potato. Shouldn't we like chunk so, it up? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into tiny pieces and I'm gonna add it to the blender and then add a little bit of simple syrup to make space for the equivalent of the yam jam and instead make potato and syrup. Just a tad of it. These look funny. They look kind of like the purple cabbage. A little bit. And would you mind bringing the angle over? Oh. I made some rich, simple syrup last week. Where do I? And if you take a look at the bottom, it is so oversaturated that it started to produce sugar crystals on the bottom of it. What does that even mean? Observe the bottom of the glass. Yeah, but what does rich, simple syrup? Rich means that there's a higher percentage of sugar in there than otherwise. So that's kind of cool. I got some I, the sugar crystals that formed at the bottom, kind of like rock candy. Let me switch that angle. I'm holding control. Click the five. Hi. Thank you so much. There we go. So I'm gonna add just like a like a dash, just a little dash of it in there. I don't think the sugar is gonna actually come up from the bottom. I think it's pretty good in there. Anna, I leave it up to you to add pretty much as much purple potato as you deem necessary. Well, I was just gonna use all of it. Okay, well, I mean, I wouldn't put the entire potato in there. How much would I put in? Like, not even half of it. This recipe calls for a single ounce of the yam. Oh. So honestly, honestly, we're not even supposed to be putting whole potato in there anyways. So, but are we are. good? Oh no! Wait. Potato. Do. Potato. Trois. Potato. 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 Six. All right. Six. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab pineapple juice. There we go. Gotcha. This. Woo. Onze, deux, trois, Is that French? Quatorze, cinq deux. Is that French? Yes. I love French. French? Yes. See? Si. French. Oh. <laughs> How do I say yes in French? Is it oui. <laughs> oh, it's we. Oui. Oui, oui. Do you have nails to open this thing with? I have no nails. That's okay. Ow, that it. hurt. We need three quarters of an ounce or about 22 milliliters of pineapple juice in there. Now, um, I'm going to take up until the fur, the last line of my pineapple juice and boop. And I'll shake this again. I'm going to save this pineapple juice for somebody who likes it. Glenn. Me, mostly. Oh. And then we I'm need a right single that. ounce of coconut milk, which I believe I also happen to have up here. There we go. It tastes better now that it's cold. Lovely. I figured it out. I was... Mmm. <laughs> coconut milk. I got distracted by the bar. I needed more milk anyways, so I went for it. That's okay. Are you having fun at the bar? We should have potatoes tomorrow. I did mention that I was going to do that. That right? are purple. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. That was the plan. You said purple. potato chips. No, I didn't mean potato we chips. We should actually. have fries. Fries? Yeah. We can do fries. That sounds like a great idea. Potato I'm in charge of dinner tomorrow, so. Tomorrow is Thursday. A full ounce of coconut milk. It's been shaking already, and it's nice and white and opaque. 
There it is. That's that's what happens. Okay. And now, well, I hit the blender button. We're gonna see what happens when we blend all this together. Remember, dear, whenever you're putting things into your blender, do not plug it in first. What? When you put things in the blender, we keep it unplugged. Why? So that we don't like accidentally stick our hands in there or something. I don't even know, dude. That's not how I do it. All right, can I have a little bit more space? This plug for the blender is not there. There we go. Yeah, it's not. Okay, working. we're gonna move this away from it. Okie dokie. And move this over here. And then I hit the button. So now for your. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. You just go for it. Take what's yours. That's not moving. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, actually, let me do it this way so we get a little bit of a. There we go. Let's see. totally works. I think that's it. That's so cool. It totally works. Oh my god. That's awesome. Now let's unplug it. Let's unplug it and put it into a container. Any container will do. Uh, let's do... I don't know. Let's put it, I feel like this is going to go in a coop. This is going to go in a coop. In a coop? And put it in a coop. What is with you in coops? Coops are beautiful glasses. I have a water bottle of alcohol. Let's see how that looks inside of our glass. This is the ube colada with purple potatoes. Without ube. Can we take this and put this down? Thank you. Bye bye. And we're gonna put it over top. Also, can you grab the unsweetened coconut flakes? Oh. oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's a lot. That looks like it's there we supposed go. to be a smoothie. That blender sounds like a corrupted leaf pad. Oh my God, it's terrifying. What do it? I do, just put these on top? We're gonna grate some and put it. Yep, go ahead. Garnish that on top. Miss Bar Pretender Lady. We, we, we gotta make a smiley face. I'm gonna adjust this angle just a tad. Bring it up and then down a little bit. Back. Ah! His eye is so high oh, up. No. Oh my god. Right there? Okay, okay. And then his other eye. I made a smiley face! There we go. And then one second. Oh, oh but the smiley face is facing us. Oh, sorry. Not the beautiful people. Let me... Ooh, man, I, I love that. A little bit I gotta there. take a picture of this from my angle because it's got a little smiley face on it. And then I'm gonna add more. Ooh. You ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Oh, give that the nice sprinkle. Yeah! It's Get a beautiful, smiley face. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I did it. This, is, this worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. You didn't like think those. the potato would blend? I didn't think what the potato would blend super well. I mean, you know, mashed potatoes, blended potatoes, potato, potato. Mashed potato. Potato, potato, you know? Potato, Exclamation potato. point potato. See what that gets you. It's a spud. Bud. What? So let's see. How does it smell? What other hidden ones did you put in? Oh god, it smells like rum. Oh, that is very rum heavy. I don't like that smell. How's it taste though? Like rum? Fresh mark? Oh. Put it down. That's unique. That's unique, right? Right? Little little bit. Little bit. It's very <laughs> rummy. It's very rummy. It tastes like rum in that potato. It tastes like chunky rum. <laughs> chunky potato rum. That is gross. I'm 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 gonna be honest. I'm getting no pineapple juice. I did not taste I'm getting any of that. barely any sweetness. This tastes like somebody just straight up blended potatoes with rum. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> just straight up blended potatoes with rum and some other stuff.
I don't get any coconut. No, to be fair, none of the coconut constituents are coconut forward. Coconut milk doesn't really taste. Now, like if coconut. we mix that with coconut a little bit of flour, will that make like a baby cake? Flour? I I guess so. I mean, starch and flour. I guess a thickening agent. I want to do that now. It feels like it. I think that's an after hours thing. So we've discovered that. If you use actual ube, or ube stand-in, for example, purple potatoes, and you blend it with rum, pineapple juice, coconut water, and coconut milk, like potato. not coconut cream or coconut oil, you get rum. Thick, purple potato rum. <laughs> That's gross. Honestly, not that- I mean, to be fair, aside from the chunks that are slowly but surely making their way down my throat, And uh, they, uh, you know, you know, it's a little, it's a little coconutty, a little coconutty. Here's a tad. Although it's very, very rummy. Surprisingly, there's only two ounces of rum in there compared to the other few ounces of other ingredients. It tastes mostly like rum, but it's so rum forward. But like rum I'm did surprised. You use? Uh, the Myers. Is it a stronger rum? I, not relatively speaking. This I one? used Myers rum, original dark rum. It's a uh, it's 40% alcohol, which is not that much stronger than the other ones. Fine it's a very potent flavor, it. very molassesy. It's it tastes straight up like molasses. That's this kind of rum. It tastes like molasses. It's good stuff though. From the West Indies. Well. I wonder if a different rum were to be used or actual ube jam, jam like like something that you can spread on toast. Don't spread this potato on your toast. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> we did we both just take could a determine of that it. it did not does not work that way. And it was very funny for even trying. I'm gl I'm glad that we tried it. I am going to make this into a little like cupcake. I'm glad that we thing. tried this. To be perfectly honest, if there was anything that I wanted to do to raise awareness for epilepsy, it was potato rum. <laughs> and I think that's downright awesome. Poor people with epilepsy. I know, I feel, I feel. Oh my god, no, the fact that this is your dedication to them. Again, there were a couple I am of- so sorry. There were a couple of other, like, um, like, variables that apparently I did not think of. For example, party parrots. For example, flashing lights. For example, wacky camera angles that keep on moving around. I apparently, ironically, planned for this not so well, and I take full responsibility for that. However, we made a couple of good drinks. We at least raised awareness just a little bit by popularizing the color purple, which is the color for epilepsy, as determined by it was. A you better put an too. epilepsy warning before this video. I apparently will. I will say in this first description of hey, it might not be epilepsy friendly. Just, 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 just suggestive, war suggestive warning. In any case, this is the end. This That's is the, the end. this is the end of purple drinks. Oh. More epilepsy awareness. Now you're more aware of it more now than you were previously. I was I was fully intending on turning on the fundraising mode on Twitch, but for some reason, and I've been trying for the past five days to do it, it just wasn't working. What so was instead, the What was the foundation you run? The Epilepsy do? Foundation. Okay. There's just a couple of different areas. Yeah, honestly, so I have a couple of different links. There's a couple of different exclamation point commands. I will put them also in the uh, the the VOD link as well, where you can go to to learn more about epilepsy, to learn more about uh, Purple Day, to learn more about uh, National Epilepsy Awareness Month, which is in November. More about the people who are more spearheading, like the better, the, the better run events than these. And, and if you have some spare spare kindness to be able to donate your kindness as well, that not not that there's an obligation to do so, obviously, but just to let people know. Honestly, I thought of it this way. I stream every single week anyways, and if there's an opportunity to raise money during literally any one of those streams, then this would be it'd be a perfect chance to do so. But um, Papa Bezos. Didn't want to do that this time. Just wouldn't let me. And I didn't have enough time to set up a Tilt to 5 page, so here we are. In any case, thank you all for coming. Where have we been so far? So, at the very, very beginning, We've been we created some Chicha Morada. It's true, we've been at the, we the bar. We didn't leave the bar. Well, we I left the bar. I mean, we, we kind of walked on and off a little bit, as, a, as was necessary. But we started off with Chicha Morada. Chicha Morada is a Peruvian drink made by taking Peruvian purple corn, Letting that boil in water and combining with cinnamon, clove, and sugar, letting that cool down, and then adding to it some other fruits like apples. We went to or potential pears. Peru. 
Got it. It's a potential Peru. We actually went forward 24 hours in time to actually mm -hmm. allow it to cool for three Yeah, for there's totally hours. not a pot on our table or Totally anything. not another pot no. off camera over here. Nope. And we combined it with a bit of lime juice as well. If you have access to key limes, that is the way to go. And that was just the recipe that I found on the spruitseats.com. Chicha Murata tastes awesome. It is like a liquidy cinnamon drink that actually when you put the apples inside of it, you can eat those and they taste like apple cinnamon. It's just delicious. And we use Granny Smith apples. Yeah. And they still taste really, really good. Not super overpoweringly sour. It was just lovely. Um, in addition, we also made a drink called, I haven't even started it yet, which is Anna's combination of vodka, blue Kool-Aid, red Kool-Aid, and what else was in there? Did uh, we put Everclear Chambord. Chambord, black raspberry no, liqueur. No, there was no Everclear. No there was no Everclear. Everclear. It was just a joke. No. Uh, that was the first cocktail we made, actually. That's Anna because made it all I herself. wanted to, I She's wanted very to buy that thing. Very, very talented. I oh. say sarcastically in this case. You're so mean. It's okay. You're a great PT, though. Yes, I work oh, yeah, great with yeah. kids. Absolutely. Which absolutely. is why alcohol great is not my pediat strong suit. Pediatric PT. Yeah. A PPT, if you will. A PSPT, because you're still a student right now. Oh my god. Indeed, indeed. Um, what was after that? I think the next thing that we made was... Ooh, I'm blanking. We did the Peru, and then we did oh, the, we the drinky, the fanny ooh, thing. Ooh, okay. We did we did one from a book called Mystic Libation. Fan it's five? called Fawn's Fancy. Um, and Fawn's Fancy is a mocktail, actually. It has absolutely no alcohol in it. It combines with it ruby... I'm sorry. Butterfly, ruby, sapphire, and garnet. That's that's not what we combine in there, though. The same universe it. is great. It combines butterfly pea flower infused oolong tea with some lemonade and some grapefruit soda. And there was another ingredient in there as well that I'm that I'm completely blanking on. Wait, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So there was, was the lemonade. There was the lemonade. There was the butterfly pea flower infused yes. oolong tea. There was the grapefruit soda, and I mixed something else in here. Grape. Oh no no no! We didn't do grapefruit juice what for was that the other one. thing. As I flip to the page, um, to think about it. I don't. Think, was there anything else? There? there was. There definitely was. There was four ingredients. There was four. It's on page sixty-six. You want to page sixty-six? It was cranberry juice. We had some oh. cranberry juice in there as well, and it came together very well. It's a nice. It's a nice long forward drink that is is very very nice. Despite the fact that you got the the lemon juice in there with the lemonade, it balances really really well with the butterfly pea flower oolong. And to be fair, because you've got the butterfly pea flower in there, it turns a nice little pinkish color because of the little pH reaction that happens there. It was really cool. After that. We went and we did a drink called Purple Haze, which was co-authored by me and ChatGPT, the internet. I want to do a whole stream on that sometime, but it was kind of cool. It turned the drink a very, very potent purple color because I had to correct the machine. The machine didn't get it right the first time or the second time, but I, I helped it along the way to create something that is very, very elderflower for it. Was used, it was created by make, combining grapefruit juice, butterfly pea flower infused gin, as well as elderflower liqueur, and you top that off with grapefruit soda. It's really, really elderflower forward. It's got a bit of dryness and stuff from the butterfly pea flower and has a beautiful color associated with it. Um, but for the most part, it's a bit of a, I'd say it's a bit of a, um, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Acquired taste, I think, yeah. for, the, for the very elderflower potent drink in there. And then what we did lastly was we came back around and we actually tasted the chicha morata, which is great. And we had one other cocktail, which was this modified ube colada. According to the educated barfly, you're supposed to take coconut water, coconut milk, pineapple juice, ube yam, ube yam jam, uh, and you combine that together in a blender. Uh, I might be missing an ingredient in there. I don't, let me see if I can double check that. Oh, and rum. We also needed the rum in there too, specifically a Dom Papa. It was described as being vanilla-y. So I grabbed the Myers, which is molasses E and sort of vanilla E. This is the only one that I had. You can blend that all together and you make something. Except we didn't have purple yam jam. We had purple potatoes. We just kind of cut up a couple of cubes of that and threw it in a blender. Yep. And you get something out the other side that tastes... It's like rum potato. It's a, it's a, very, it's a very starchy, thick, rummy Buffalo. drink potato. It's potato. like potato. It's like it's like thick potato in a glass. Ew. Is it is it good? If you really like rum, you'll like this one. It definitely Do needs. Do you work. really like rum? I like rum. It's gotta be not not in this way though. I would no. say that overall, I'm not a big fan. Because that's thing. basically like taking a rum shot. Except it's yeah. a little more sweet, a little, a little more, more chunky, okay. a chunk chunky because of the potato. Bits so if in it, it was like a frozen rum, frozen rum, you don't freeze alcohol like that. Shh. You could, you could get it really, really cold. Might affect the flavor a little bit because the tongue, the tongue, the reaction to the. Then how do they make those like 
They delete the alcohol content. Frozen. They edit the alcohol content is a little lower, or they mix it with something else that does freeze, like a lot easier. Because Disney has the uh, yeah, they have the, the leopard's eye ale. No, they don't. Leopard's eye cocktail. Leopard's ale. I think leopard something. No, it's a it's leopard's not leopard, eye. It's not leopard eye. It that's, is leopard that's eye. Us. It was leopard's eye. Oh, it was. You're right. Leopard's but eye. That's, that's not frozen though. That's. It was frozen. There was some frozen bits. No, it's like it. snow coney. You can have like you can have like ice and stuff with the alcohol in it, but the alcohol itself. It's is not like an icy. Like so how do they make an icy? Dude, I don't know. That's a question for the scientists. Maybe we'll make few frozen drinks sometime. We'll just make we'll make like. Uh, See, you say pops. frozen, and I'm like, oh my gosh, frozen. Indeed. Let it go. Let it go. You right. That's what I was thinking. In any case, we did it. Oh, and we also tried to make purple popcorn. Although oh, it came out very American because we used purple and red food dye at the wrong time. It could have just been French. It could have just been French. It could be any red, white, and blue colored popcorn. See, we here's, here's a cool trick. French, if you want to get like cool American. colored popcorn, add food dye to it after the fact. Like in drops. And it colors individual kernels. It's actually quite impressive. Well, what if you were to just do that with butter? Mm hmm. You could do butter. You could color the butter first. I think the butter color we'll would color, be better. Yeah, or get like a, an oil based uh, coloring food color. Yeah, that might have worked too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's not what I had access to. No. In any case, that was it, everybody. Wow. And uh, as such, the bar with the next stream is over in memory of purple drinks for this week with my beautiful dear star, my dearest, who was joining me. I will so not be back next week. That's pretty much all we got. Yeah, she's got to finish up her clinical there. We come this way. Come along this way. Into the into the circle. We did Hello. it. Hello. Hi. Okay, okay, you're actually pushing me over. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, this is fun. This is kind of cute, right? No comment. No comment. No, no, no. <laughs> well, we're going to leave the cuteness behind us because Anna's got to go back to work. Naturally. Anna's got to sleep. But thank you so much for guest starring this time, dearest. I'm glad that we were able to explore this together. I also loved how we had two different portions of the show going on at different times. One was kind of cocktail-y. One was kind of like... I don't know what's going on with my brain right now. Quintessential Anna. I think that was really I think cool. I'm just super tired from studying the I past few nights. It, was, it so. was cool to be able to see, you know? Sure. It's not it's not often that that side comes out on the camera. No. It was it's fun. tired and then super thank Whoa, you for, thank hello. You for I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm not even that drunk this time. Thank and you all for joining to us. everybody out there, thank you so much for joining us at the end of the bar. Oh, sorry, I next. Cut you we'll be back again next Wednesday for something probably completely different. Who knows what'll happen Do you there, have honestly. anything planned? I do. Yeah. No spoilers though. In any case, to everybody out there, if it's the night time like it is with us, then you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. If it is the daytime where it is over y there, y'all, then I may you all have a wonderful rest of your morning. Dawn, twilight, otherwise, Anna's looking at the calendar. That's not a complete calendar. What is that? It says Passover drinks, question mark. I don't know, though. This is not accurate. Uh -huh. It's not an accurate calendar. To everybody out there, as Anna continues to be distracted, I will I... wave to the camera in my normal way. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Whoa. Bye.